Tyson. He um, gave him, I think, I, uh, Tazaria, you gave Tazaria, I, I would say a third round knockout, Shibari. You gave Tazaria a third round knockout. But anyway, let me bring on the brother, young. I'm mute you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I said, what's going on, man? Nothing, just um, another day. I just came from um, printing out some more, um, or excuse me, organizing some more paperwork as far as, um, you know, things that I need, you know, if and when I go to the United Nations, et cetera, to speak on behalf of the community. And with that being said, I'm speaking to, uh, oh, look who we got here. Wait, <laughs> we got here. We got your boys. We got the Podestas here. You feel me? We got your, your man here. I got a lot of people. Up. I got a lot of things going on up in here. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, long story short, um, long story short, with that said, um, you know, I ain't gonna, I really don't know who Jabari is, but, um, you know, Polite couldn't, Polite actually couldn't uh, get around this debate. So no disrespect. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I would just like to say this. If the light, it, because I'm not going to lie, say if, if the light can't beat me, you can't beat me. Oh, <laughs> man. Damn. So He's starting off. <laughs> so hero coming in already. Yeah, so what With I blows. Will, God damn. So what I will say is this. I don't really know you, and I pro- I don't really feel I need to know you. What I will say is, if Polite couldn't beat me in this, you couldn't beat me. You can't beat me in this. But I'm going to say this about my premise without going all the way in. Uh, I had a debate lined up with a hybrid professor on 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 this subject, and I sent him my premise, and after seeing, seeing, seeing my premise, he backed out of the debate. So not only did I did I stop polite in his breaks on this topic. I made a Harvard University level scholar run away from it. So I said I have to say this. All I'm gonna say is this when it comes to what they call Egyptology, the Egyptian hieroglyphics, aka Meta Nature system has not been successfully uh translated to become a speakable language in that aspect. It's not and I have proven my premise with the difference between characters and ideograms or text or grammatical text, etc. So, you know, I I have a, a I have a my, my my premise is like Moses stab. I have already started to see. So, you know, if polite can't do it, if if uh Harvard can't do it, you I, can't do it. Hey Jabari, where'd you graduated from Harvard, right? I want to. I want to be clear that saying that. Hey, someone's peace, a peace. Per- Shout out to everybody in the building. Uh, appreciate y'all pulling up. Um, man, I was over here eating, and I I looked up, and it was going down. So, uh, make sure everybody jump on the like button. Appreciate everybody that pulled up. What we gonna do is um, we gonna check them out uh for a little bit and, and kind of just uh, you know, uh, commentate. On some of the points that they that they have, and hopefully we can get a chance to call in when they open if they open up the lines or whatever, and we can see if Shaka almost want to get in the paint, and we can just do a, a, a Egyptian uh, mania day that day. You feel me? Uh, there's rumors of Usyk versus Fu- uh, Fury for undisputed at heavyweight, and on that same court, there's rumors of Deontay Wilder versus. Um, um, Anthony Joshua, so we can get some heavyweight uh, up in here in the jungle. We can get it all on the same day, so we'll see if we can get on there, man. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. Big old Indian business. Professor doesn't impress me because I'm a Cornell educated Cornell, okay. Um, and I'd like to believe that Cornell is a stronger institution because it has an Africana studies and research center. <laughs> you think you hired them, and so, and so I, I want you to hold know- up, go. Oh, let him go, Pharaoh. Let me let me introduce myself because man, you don't seem uh, to know polite right beat now. the brakes off of Pharaoh one day. Pharaoh came on polite live, and it was inking and, and, and um and and uh polite on there. And I ain't gonna lie, bro, it was it was a different level, and Pharaoh couldn't. I mean, he couldn't get in, and man, he just couldn't get. Just, 
just jab and polite, just I jabbed and took him to the body, walked him down, got him out of there. Pharaoh said, This is slander, and jumped off the live. But now, nah, bro, after that day, I, I, I mean, he ain't got no inside fighting game, bro. I'm a student of Dr. Yosef Benyakinen. What that mean? I'm a student of Dr. John Henry Clark. What that mean? Um, they taught me at Cornell University. I'm a student of Dr. James Turner. I must say his name, even though some of you aren't familiar with Dr. James Turner. More than anyone, he was the person that assisted me with understanding how to make logical arguments, how to use sources, how to read scholarly work. Well, why you that, ain't bring none of that when we fought? That is Dr. James Turner. He just made his transition. He's an ancestor as of last year. So definitely um, those are folks that have um, uh, that are important to me. In addition to that, um, you should know I have two master's degrees, one in divinity, one in human service administration. I'm currently completing a third master's degree in the history of Africa and the African diaspora. I'm also- yeah, that, that right there on hip though. He's here. Shout out to Pharaoh. Uh, shout out to Papa Shorty in the building, man. Uh, Florida boys in the building. Say peace to the ancestors and peace and love to the Indians. For real, for real. That was a good strategy. Pharaoh came right in, not respecting him, handling him. Hey, man, I don't know you. You feel me? Off the top. And when you're dealing with somebody like Jabari, he very egotistic. So that's why when I came in, I ain't showing him no respect. We ain't even touch gloves. You hear me <laughs> at all? None of that. Let's go. Let's rock out. Let's get what we came for. Shout out to Dog Chief 305. Goddamn. Be say, what's up, big chief top cat at BCU in the uh, uh, super chat? Simultaneously completing a doctorate that is a divinity degree. Um, and you should also know I'm an author. I wrote the book, Seven Little White Lies A Conspiracy to Destroy the Black Self Image. And I have been um i have taken over four thousand people to kemet i do study tours annual study tours to kemet and i don't think anyone that you've debated whether they're from harvard or cornell or anywhere anywhere has done as spent as much time studying in in on the on the ground as i have so but but i want to say to you that um very quickly even before i even opened my mouth Dear brother, I hear you shifting the goalpost. <laughs> and I think the audience might have heard it as well. Well, we um, it. <laughs> you, you are known, and don't make, make me have to put up a flyer, because I will. You are known for saying that Medunetter has not been deciphered. And tonight you didn't say that. I want, uh, I'm sure that there are people that heard that. He said that Medonetter has not been translated into a speakable language. That's not the same thing. Now, Jabari is, is people don't give him credit for his debate skills, but Jabari is a, is a, is a good debater. Ain't no anybody finna go in there and get in the ring with him. I'm telling you, bro, you better have some defense because he can take your, he, he, he can take your punch away. And he know how to use the ref. He know how to get the crowd on his side. And um, right there, he just poked that Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, let's see. I don't know if Pharaoh counterpunch it. Let's find out. Because you can get him up off of it. So let me say that I would love for you to know that while J you don't think Jabari Osaze will defeat you on this topic, you just defeated yourself on the topic. <laughs> Young Pharaoh of... <laughs> of May 3rd, 2023, just defeated Young Pharaoh of last year at the same time. So I, 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 that's, I, I want you to recognize that I heard that you did that and that's slick. But if that's really, if the premise that you just stated today is your real premise, you and I won't even disagree. There's no need for us to debate. You and I will not disagree. But I want you to acknowledge that what you are saying tonight is not what you have said. Um, you know, so that that's the difference. I think that um, you have a, a relationship with my elder, Baba Heru, Heru Ankara Samad Sepata. Um, he has spoken highly of you to me. Um, I, I have not studied or, or listened to all of the things that you've done, but I've paid attention to some of it. Don't listen to this boy, bro. Jabari do film study. 
when I debated your boy, I went and took a lot of my shit out offline. Cause my greatest weapon of them of being, me being new and niggas not knowing what to look for. <clears throat> Jabari, trust me, he he been doing tape on Pharaoh. Um, you know, I'll see it as it comes through, and and I'm aware of it. Perhaps what I'm hearing tonight is the evolution of your argument. And if that is what I am hearing, then you and I could go ahead and agree. <laughs> but. You know, the thing that people are disagreeing with you on, if I can just show this really quickly, Son Editor, if you could put it up, is this. This flyer says the meta netter has not, not been deciphered. And so the first thing I would ask you is, do you recognize that you said you're making a different argument tonight <laughs> than the one that you've made in the What's past? What's up, Pharaoh? That's, a, that's, that's the a first nice... thing I would ask you. Or is this the argument you're making? The metanetter has That's not a nice been move right there. So basically, he did cut the ring off on um, Pharaoh. Uh, That's the question. You can go ahead, brother. I don't want to say this. I'm a little high right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little high. But I want to <laughs> say this, though. Before I um, answer your question, you gave your um, your professions or your credential list. I just want to say this. You know, when sometimes when people give their credentials, or you know, you say this, that, and the third. You know, it means nothing. I just want to say, you know, I I want to remind you that your credentials are nowhere and will <laughs> never, ever be anywhere. On the <laughs> so I felt like, you know, um, I'm the one that has done multiple interviews with the CIA. I'm the one that's, that's some good stuff. Was... to the body on the Pharaoh. Okay, hey, brother. <laughs> <I think laughs> you said that's some good shit to <laughs> I'm the one. Wait a minute. It's not about smoking. It's about right here. This is wait a minute. Cause I'll let you nah, talk. Let me talk. I got a I got a shout out from the CIA, CIA right here, August 12, 2020. From the CIA? Yeah, yeah. Then I did, yeah, a, the one I did that a funded your teachers in that Africana Studies, the institute that you went to at Corn Brother. Yeah, those guys. I being with a wait, the governmental institute, the CIA. Wait, 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 wait. Then I did a live thing with an ex CIA agent, uh, September 23rd, 2020. And I did another live stream with him. Wait, I'm not done. Then I was number one on the app store, uh, April 30th, 2021. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I'm the one that caught Joe Biden and them cheating during the election. I did it with 22,810 people oh, watching live. Millions of views. Wait a minute. Then I caught Hillary Clinton and them during the George Floyd riots. I did a million views in three days again. I made a million dollars, $1.4 million alone in 2020. I'm the one that got the United States government, uh, excuse me, help them get found guilty of, of uh, crimes against humanity in 2020. Don't say that because I think he can, he can, he can, he can. He can he can he can he can pour his lead hand out there, man, and, and pull your goddamn high guard down, man, and put a right hand between that motherfucker. Don't say that. I have to be in the court. We're gonna have to find something. We can pull your name up on it and this it. So yeah, I'll make him stand on that. And Jabari is a good fighter. I think he gonna he gonna go after that. I'm the one that caught all of the human traffickers in the world. I'm the one that proved that goddamn pizza gate was actually real. How many, How many arrests did you have? Hillary Clinton lying about the the basement in the in the bottom of Common Ping Pong and help find the man, the white man that shot it up, actually be found innocent. I'm the one that figured out. I, I mean, excuse me. I was on uh, CNN. I got canceled. I was supposed to meet Trump. I got canceled from CPAC. I was on USA Today. You know what I'm saying? I've been on. I, I was on Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Stephen Colbert. You know what I'm saying? I have a very and the list goes on. The list goes on. My music image. The list goes on. I'm undefeated in Muay Thai. So, nah, bro. We you seen know you get beat up by two white boys, nigga. You ran out of gas in the white boy store. Put them things on your ass, nigga. Man, a lot of niggas be taking L's and come out here talk about they undefeated, even in debates. Jabari running around here still talking about Jabari and Jabari lost like three times. Twice. Well, I know, I know for sure once when I whooped his ass, but Jabari took it. 
saying I stopped COVID in 19. I'm the one that stopped COVID. I'm your the ass was in the house on lockdown, on live every day, nigga, just like everybody is, nigga. You were going live every day. And you couldn't come outside, nigga. They gonna take your ass to jail too, nigga. Yeah, nigga, this nigga was on. That nigga was on house restriction, like everybody else in the state. Boy, stop it. When that 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 uh, what you gonna call it? Stop the lockdown all all around the world and figure and and, and let everybody uh, what you gonna call it? And, and let hey, family, let's get the lights up. Hey, why the crazy like that? Hey, let's get the lights up, family. Let's get the lights up. When they drop the link, we're going to hit the link and go over there and see what's up. See if we can get some, get it in with Shaka Abmos. Let it be known to the public that it was a bioterroristic weapon. So I felt like shit, yo, yo, you know, yo, um, your credentials is never longer than mine. And nobody you around credentials could never be longer than mine. I just want to say that. And, um, you know, the, the list goes on of things I could accomplish. And with that being said, um, me getting that out, I lost my train of thought of what I wanted to of, of what I wanted to say to answer your question. Do me a favor, ask me your question. In the, in the super chat, appreciate the love, family. Pharaoh, you ain't ready, bro. Brother, you have to. Yeah. Uh, I never have him. Tell him to ask me the question one more time. I, I'm. I'm. Get him, Jabari, trying, get him. You ain't ready. Tear his ass up. I'm trying to ask you the question. I asked a simple question. I was asking whether the person. That, that the argument that you made in 2016 that the meta netter has not been deciphered is that the same argument you are making today because you said something very different just now listen to me. i'm not saying anything different than what i've said but what i need for people to understand especially the general public is egypt is taught in two separate concepts is taught from a concept of Egyptology, which is the study of Egypt from 3200 BC and, and down. And that is the aspect of Egypt that is taught, taught uh, in synchronicity, synchronicity with religion to approve of the Bible or, you know, any other monotheistic religious understanding of the history of Egypt. No, pick but it that, up, Pharaoh. The history of Egypt is not true. Then you have Kemetology, which is the study of Egypt of 10,000 BC. Uh, excuse me, 10,000 years. Excuse me, 10,000 years starting at 10,000 BC and beyond. And that history of Egypt is true. So when I say that the meta nature has not been deciphered and I make that distinction, what I want it to be universally understood, what I want to be universally understood is even when we arguing is the meta nature been deciphered, people got to understand that we first arguing it from a aspect of or, or 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 viewpoint of the story or the history of Egyptology as well. And no, that has not been deciphered. No, because a lot of that is completely made up. It's completely false. Chief and Chief say hit the likes. We got 111 watching, only 75 likes. Let's get over 100 likes, family. Shout out to everybody in the building. It's completely made up well well let me let me say two things to you um I, I am not here to contest your credentials that you've mentioned but i will say to you that the credentials that you mentioned they they have nothing to do with the discussion we're having um and i can show you a cat mil a cat video a cat video that has four million views so oh, they got Oh, they got everything because I just wanted to let you know. Like, I just wanted to let you know. You know, I'm a real life general. I want you to a real life general. I'm the leader of the black. I'm about to take us. I'm about to go on. Go on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm listening. South Africa. And see, one thing that I like about it, and I'm gonna stop pausing it, but that, 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 that. You know, referee. You know, usually Jabari, he gets special treatments. Oh, uh, he like LeBron. You can't look like you touched him or they're going to call a foul. He like that old Kobe. You know, nigga pull up, get you in the air and jump up, get contact and flop on your ass and go to the free throw lane at James Harden shit. Oh, uh, Farrow got a little pull. So he can't, He, you know, you got to fight out the clinch today, nigga. Let you know that. Brother, you got to. Wait. I'm, real, I'm not, I'm a real life. Like, you got you to gotta let him speak, Farrow. You got to let him speak. Got to wait. Got to wait. Um, so I want you to know that the credentials down, that you cited, the, the views that you had, the things that you've done, I'm not here to contest those things. 
But I want everyone to know that those credentials don't have anything to do with the topic that we're describing. I'm the one, by the way, you're talking about Kemet of 10,000 BCE. I'd love for you to talk about that. But you should know that I also am a college professor. I teach the history of <laughs> Africa from human origins to 1600 CE. So I'm, I, can, I can take you back three or four million Whoa. years. So yeah, I'm gonna have to look I, I at really aboriginal on you, nigga. You tell me you can take a take a year. I know some aboriginals can go back fifty, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. So yeah, that little that little three year, three million. I know some aboriginal they can take you back fifty. Yeah, I'm gonna put an album on you, nigga. Like for you, I really would like for you to hear that. I'm not here necessarily though to to debate you. I think that if you are an intellectual brother, someone who has capacity to listen and to and to to reason, you're gonna recognize that what I'm saying is correct. And I want you to realize that what you first said when you sat down is different than what you've been saying. It's different than what you've been saying. Saying that the language has not been translated into a speakable form and saying it has not been deciphered, those are not the same thing. So um, I, that that's that's really where we are. Um, and I also want to, to say, yes, well, yes, 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 shout yes. out to Creekside in the super chat, and shout out to my nigga Eric for the fifty piece in the super chat. I mean, in the cash app. It is. Hey, yes, it is. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yes, hold on. Hold on. Yes, no, you're like not. To convert a text. Hold on, hold on, Pharaoh. He's gonna pass the mic yes, in a minute. He's gonna pass the mic. Word. Yet you're still saying that we can't translate it. I you mean, are, the word Kepper is not on the screen. I don't know. You just say, how do I know it's the Kepper beetle? I just, I, I, I mean, from my perspective, the way I answered it was, you know, because I speak English, as you know. But Kepper is not, a, is Kepper an English word? Yeah. Yes. That's arguable. That's arguable? <laughs> Can you show me any dictionary that has the word Kepper in it? Any English dictionary? That's the Show point. One. Listen to me. That's the point I'm trying to make. This people are making this shit up as we go. So you got. So did you make up the word Kepper? No, I didn't. Uh, so a, Caucasian did it? It, a Caucasian made it up. Yep, oh, a Caucasian made that word up. Yep. They made up the, yep. the English yep. alphabet. Shoot it. No, but Kepper. I didn't ask you to how to spell it in English. I asked you. You, I'm said, asking, you said is Kepper. You listen to me. You said is Kepper an English word. I said that's arguable because the characters come from Englishmen, and that those characters come from German. What characters? What, I, we're not reading any words. There's no letter character. K, the letter H, the letter brother, E. Brother, brother Pharaoh. We didn't. I didn't ask you to write the I word down. I asked you, you know. what okay. the, the item is. Keep that approach and step to him, Pharaoh. The English word I said is arguable. Well, well, make the argument that it's an English word. Yeah, Since it's arguable, right. make the argument that it's an English word. Well, leave it. The argument is it could be argued that it's an English word because the characters, aka the letters that are used to compose the word, are of English origin. Okay, still which, which letter? Yeah. Which letters? Spanish. K H E. That the, all of those letters okay. go back to Greek. Uh, the Greek alphabet. And then so you know that no that history in itself, you know, English comes from English, which comes from the Anglo-Saxons, who were both once the Anglo's and then separate the Saxons, and then you know they became the Anglo-Saxons. So, like I said, the characters trace back to the English language, which has nothing to do with us. And then the English language came from when the goddamn Germans. We don't and, and in the Nordics and all of them. You gonna fuck around and get counted on something that ain't even got nothing, bro. Niggas need to stay stay on your shit. You already was looping it. It's questionable. Stand on it. It's fake, nigga. You goddamn using English alphabets. And, and, and step to them. Make them do something about it. Some type of, you know, you people break it talk about English alphabet. Brother Farrell, you are not answering the question. Uh -huh, you said and I want to be English. English. Simply, because, simply because you are trying to ascribe English letters to sounds does not mean that that John word is in the English building. What's up word? with it? Hippie Jazz and Boot Cam, Almighty Law, Indian Carter. Shout out to everybody else in the building. Word. 
I think you know that. All I'm saying is the English language is a hybridized language. But so I'm not asking about English. English. I didn't ask you about English. You're the one that's bringing English into this. Because and I didn't ask you. Wait, wait, wait. Because the word is created from the English language. Hold on a second. Let's be very clear. When I said, what is this? And you said, it's a kepper. You are vocalizing sounds that are not written. They are now written in English to try to approximate the sounds from the comedic language. I think you know so this. How you it in That's why your head is down. But I, I want to be really uh, clear. I, 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 I want to be really clear that Kepper, show me one English dictionary that has the word Kepper <laughs> in it. Is Kepper, simply because you, you can try to write it in English letters, that makes it an English word? That means that the word hola, a greeting in Spanish, is an English word because I can write it? Pero I need you. With the same letters? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? How about the word Espanol? Espanol can be written with English letters. Are you saying that the word Espanol is an English word? Or would you call it Spanish? I need to see some from... Hello. Still... Do you even know where the Spanish language comes from? Damn, Pharo, you making this hard for me, bro. Man, stop throwing shit that you can get counted on, bro. Step to him on, on the alphabet. Challenge him to present how it's spelled in Kimmy. I'm not asking you where the Spanish language comes from. I'm not asking you where the Spanish language comes from. What I am saying to you, dear brother, is that you have found yourself boxed into a box of your own making. No, you if have this not. is a kepper, then the only way we know that it is vocalized as Kepper is by deciphering the language. And you are agreeing with the decipherment of the language. But no, then you're not. saying, what I'm saying, is, what, I'm saying is, no what I'm saying is no matter what you say, you have to you have to take into consideration that even the spelling of what you're saying is coming from a language that's already questionable in its own origins and is a hybridized Damn. language in itself. So, so you're I'm trying to say that there are no languages? Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm trying to say is the English language is not our natural tongue, and people need to be aware What's that. What's your natural word? tongue? Boy, nigga can't do me like that. But my game is this. You have to stay on your attack. What points are you going to attack and stay there? Jabari is good as at turning you and keeping you on the, the defense. He want to be on offense. He don't like questions. He don't like to. That's why you got to throw throw punches with him and be direct. All that looping shit. If, if when you didn't tell somebody was Spanish, well, you know, nah, bro, let's stick to the alphabets and make him spell Kefra in, in, in comedic or something, but you do not have to be on the back foot right now because you've been on there most of this round right now that we're using to describe the principles and concepts of our ancestors are uh, being understood or perceived by us and through us from a language that is not our natural language or our natural tongue, even the word Kepra. And what I'm saying is the beetle was simply symbolized to convey three layers of understanding at a specific time. Some Somebody came and looked at these ideograms on the wall. Could you show this? Hey, and, are now alleging, and are now alleging that you said that, that, that um, Jabari is an easy win from him, but right now, bro, he is he he uh, he he working the jab on Farrow. Give off the meaning. Farrow is on the back foot right thing, now, bro. But unless you was in that specific Before, because game. Because he's not dealing with the point, which is Kefra. He put him somewhere. He cut the ring off, put the question on him, and, which means that he's forcing him to answer a direct question. And every time that you go outside of answering that question directly, then, nigga, uh, you didn't, yeah, bro, you on the back foot now. Now you're trying to get out of there because either you don't know the answer 
because you would have directly answered it. And now we didn't been the round is going on and on, and the brother still haven't answered the question. So it don't look like you win for me, bro. Right now, Jabari is is I won't say he's throwing nothing to hurt him or nothing, but he's on the offensive attack. He got Farrell on the back foot with a jab right now. Or we go to a tribe, unless you was in that specific tribe, you wouldn't know what they what they language meant on the wall or what them what they symbols meant on the wall unless they told you. And so when John Champagne or other, you know, false, you know, linguists say that they translated four to six thousand glyphs, images, and pictures on the wall into twenty six letters. Once again, I'm going to tell you, no, that sounds crazy. But uh, even if you believe that to be true, what I'm saying is, we still have to take into consideration. We really, truly don't know. Um. You, we really truly don't know if the names or or titles of certain concepts that whether we believe we understand them to be true to be accurate because this is not our native tongue. I mean, none of that is being done in our native tongue. That is what I'm but what saying. What is your to. native tongue? I would have brought a right hand over there and I would have pulled counted on his ass and counted it. What's your native tongue? But see, they ain't got no genealogy. They ain't got, you know what I'm saying? So they don't know how to play their game. I would, it's, well, your native tongue, and I would have really been looking them back because I ain't got my question answered, and now you you can't answer none of my questions. This is what I'm then saying. Then I would have started with him. Damn, I thought okay. you would have. Son, Edward, could you put this on the screen for me, please? Uh oh. Okay, here's dictionary.com. I just figured I would look up the word Kepra because Young Farrell was saying it's arguable as if it's an English word. Uh, dictionary.com doesn't recognize it. I also looked at Merriam-Webster, which is a much older dictionary, um, updated several times a year. They don't recognize the word Kepra either. Um, so I want you to understand that the word Kepra, while you are trying to, why we might try to approximate it with, it with letters that we might use in English, the reality is that this word is not an English word. By the way, I did not introduce the name of that, of that beetle. Young Pharaoh did. Young Pharaoh did. And so I want you to recognize that we know that that beetle is called a Kepra because we're able to read the language. We may not be able to read the English because it's in English letters. I'm not finished, brother. I'm not finished, brother. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. So this is really important for us to recognize that simply because you can try to approximate something in a language that doesn't make that word like the word. And the simple way is to say Espanol. Espanol is not an English word. We call the language that is called Espanol by speakers of Espanol, we call it Spanish. But we do try to write the word Espanol using the same letters. It's not, I don't even know why I have to explain this. Now, let me say this to you really quickly here. This is where um, we're struggling. <coughs> you can't see my screen? I don't know why. Shout out to you, you family. Shout out to I don't know yeah, why. I, see it. Boy I, see it. In the cash. Yeah, I appreciate that little that $30. Appreciate that little, man. It's freaking out on me. Hold on one Bill second. Alabama. Here we go. And my people them came I out of Huntsville, Alabama. Real, real, legendary uh, Alabama Indian shit. Clear that when Young Farrell sat down tonight and he said the Metonetter has not been translated into a speakable language. If that was the position that he was going to um, maintain, we actually could have said good night. I would have said it's good to meet you, brother. Good night. Because what he is correct about is that when we translate the comedic language, the comedic language does not actually indicate all of its vowel sounds. Some of them, yes, not all of them. So sometimes we, as people who are trying to vocalize an ancient language, in insert vowel sounds in order to speak it. So we there are issues with trying to speak the language. By the way, this is not just the Metonetter. The Hebrew language had a very similar problem, but people have reconstructed it and speak it every day, including in the city that I'm in. Fair well, I'm gonna need a jab from you, bro. Elbow or head, but or something, bro. But you got to break his rhythm. Jabari is a rhythm fighter. If you notice, I kept him uncomfortable. 
I kept him. He was – he couldn't sit. He couldn't sit. Couldn't get in the rhythm. He was frustrated. Even through his build, he was telling me to – because I was making hand like, signals like he was just talking about a PowerPoint. He was like, you really need to stop. I was breaking him, bro. You got to – this psychological warfare, bro. And right now, that nigga is going up on points on you, bro. Not going to lie. We need to see something from you, Pharaoh. When he said – and he has said this many times, if you're not familiar, that the metanetter has not been deciphered. That is the hill that he should not want to die on. Here's his flyer from December 18, 2016. He and Farrell Sutton said he's saying the metanetter has not been deciphered. I'm certainly not putting these words in his mouth. I'm certainly not putting these words in his mouth. I didn't make the flyer, but I want to be clear. The word decipher means to uncode something. So look at this, to make out the meaning of, to discover the meaning of, to interpret by the use of a key as something written in cipher. Shout out to uh, Madonna Kimmy in the building. My nigga got co scap in this bitch. What up, Scap? Yeah, yeah, yeah nigga cipher. right there, man. Shout out to my nigga Scap. Speaking it. That's where the challenge is. So that if he had maintained, if he kept the same argument as when he first sat down, we'd be fine. We'd be fine. The problem is the terms he's using. And I want you to be clear. If he says that's a Kepra, if he says he's the general of the Aten Ra nation, of the Aten nation, how does he know that it's called Aten? How does he know Angles, uh... that the name of the deity is Aten? For the Chief of Chief, that nigga putting them angles on that nigga, man. He is enamored with the word Aten. Here's his Aten Holistic Center. How does he know that that should be vocalized as Aten? It is not an English word. He is trying to speak a language that has been deciphered. That is what he's doing. And I want you to hear that the challenge with the Medunetter trying to be spoken is a challenge that actually the Hebrew language had as well. I don't know if you knew that, family, but you should know. Here's an article from the Baltimore Sun. Once dead language brings Israel to life. I'm going to tell y'all something, bro. Um, after I did my third round with your boy, if y'all noticed, I turned my camera off. And I, that was my first blunt of the day. And I hit that blunt and I was done. So I know not to get high, bro, when I'm finna come in here and do this type of shit, bro. You got me. Nah, bro, I, I tripped out that time. After my third round, I, I turned the camera off and hit my blunt. I smoked the victory blunt, nigga, but I was out of there. And so, yeah, man, if you in a fight, bro, this a chess match when you fuck with a nigga like Jabbar. He not a puncher. He a counter puncher. He don't bring sources but tonight he was prepared pharaoh did not prepare for what he got in got in the ring he did not uh 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 prepare bro and it's showing right now but he can pick it up because it's just the first round let's walk life um brings israel to life hebrew after 1700 years a revived language becomes a common thread knitting together a nation of immigrants with little common except religion. I want you to Yeah, let's get the likes up. We're missing 50 likes. We're missing 50 likes, family. Let's get the likes up. That the Hebrew language had a similar problem that the Kemetic language has. That didn't stop people in Israel from trying to vocalize their ancient language. The ain't the language They like to say going out. You went out. You know, as best as possible through. You know, we still have to acknowledge that it is not being proven through our native tongue. But I mean, I don't know what's hard to understand about that. If you believe, if you accept that, if you accept John Champelion or any other Caucasians. Uh, alleged successes of deciphering the language and you have to also accept the path to which he say he deciphered it. And that's even that in itself is questionable and is not true. Okay. Now, I know that you haven't spent a lot of time with Sonnetter on his platform recently, 
But when people make claims in this environment, you're going to hear me say ecri. Extraordinary claims yeah, require oh, extraordinary oh, evidence. Oh. You said that they said, John Champollion, Champollion said, that he translated it using the demotic text. No, I'm going to say no, something was, that we always say. Song, bro. This was in source. the 17th. Um, what was this? 1777 or uh, 1799. This was uh, Napoleon. Rosetta Stone shit, bro. Then they came down to Champagne in 1800. You'll get that in my book that's about to drop. Show me where Champollion or Thomas Young said that they translated this using the, using the demonic text. Show me that. Show me where that is. Okay. Like the video. Thumb up the video. <laughs> Back on. So this is where I would tell you, just like I told Sinether, um, I'm not pulling out no PowerPoint. Oh, Come on, Pharaoh, bro. I'm not liking this, bro. The number one debater in the world, bro. Nigga ain't finna kiss, nigga. I'm talking to you. Pharaoh got work. You got PowerPoints and all this shit, too, bro. Let's 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 step to this nigga, bro, because Jabari ain't no nigga that, that you can let. Get get one on you, bro. Jabari, he niggas don't give him his credit, bro. But you you not just finna get in there and do what you want. I just made Floyd made Pacquiao look controlled him with a jab, controlled the lead hand, and was sticking them right hands in on his motherfucking ass. Uh, the day of until okay. the day of okay. yeah until the day of. Okay. I already have a PowerPoint slide with over a hundred slides. Like I said, polite couldn't get through me. Right. <laughs> so you are not going to be able to get through, through me. But I, what I want to say is I just want to just like, you know, I want to put this out there. I, I, I don't know why you continue to be polite. The, the, the standard, the reality is you're speaking with Jabari. You're not, cause listen to me cause, because you're not, you're not nobody. Okay. You're not, you're not nobody. I'm not nobody. I like this. I like this. You're not nobody. Right, right. You're not nobody. You're not, you don't believe, believe you deep in your yeah. heart that you believe that you better than the life. Right. You don't. Right. You don't yeah, that you gotta put you that. Right. Nobody else. I never know that. Deep yeah, down, I was, come on, Pharaoh, wake you in. That's what I'm saying. Step to him, bro. But we're going to need some more. Too. We're gonna Can need I some say more. something? I don't know what state you're in. I hope weed is legal there because you done smoked something really no, good. No, it's not, nigga. So, yeah, that is CBD he's on because that is legal in Texas. He's not how marijuana. It is CBD. Yeah, I am being. The state you're not, you're not, you're not whatever bad. you smoked, you're not bad. It's though. good. <laughs> See, you're, it ain't never been nobody in the this history. Of this it ain't never been nobody in the in the history of this platform. That's who this is. That's ever. I just want you to know. We're gonna put a pin. We're gonna put a pin in this. He's never been to me. I've been on there. I to show me where he said in for like. In an English dictionary, I showed you that it's not there. You are asking me. You are asking me. You are asking me to pull. You are asking me to pull like a power. Not finished. I'm not pulling up. I also asked him to source up, as he says that um, they translated the the Medunetter using demonic text. So I want you to put a pin in that. He says he's not going to show us today. Put a pin in it, okay? I will put a pin in it. No, not for you. Yeah, that's the point. My point on the board. The boy is he y'all better stop. Niggas be talking that shit, bro. When you get in there, it's a whole different thing, bro. And right now, Pharaoh, he got you. I wouldn't give a damn, nigga. You better throw some. I wouldn't give a fuck if I say, hold on. Well, I'm gonna do this, but you gotta get him out there waiting to the debate. I played dead on him too, but right now, oh man, shit. You know that you're doing this. All a nigga got to do is say, I don't even want to debate you. You ain't even on my level. You feel me? It's like I chumped you out. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to throw back. The other thing that he's doing that I think is disingenuous is that he continues to say that Caucasians <clears throat> deciphered it. 
The reality is this. They claimed it. They claimed the it. Same, the same people from Eurasia that extinguished the language, language some of their, their kind then went back and were able to use a variety of sources and were able to um, re-decipher it. They didn't write the text. They didn't write the text. Do you do you do you do you not? Uh, so so what I'm saying to you is is that when we talk about these topics, I want you to understand that you're talking to someone who travels to Kemet every year. Are you telling me that when we go to the Valley of the Kings and Queens and see millions of glyphs on those walls, you're saying that all of those glyphs were made up? When you go to um, the, the, the temple that is generally known as Karnak, Ipet Isut, and the temple that's known as the temple of Luxor. Jabor set that up with a jab and asked him, have you ever been to Egypt before to see the, the, the metal netta? And then you should have, uh, as soon as he answered, you should have brought the right hand right over the top of it and then stepped in with this argument. Yeah, you should have led with that. Have you ever been to Egypt before? Then walked in on him. Because now we back to this credential conversation. Pet Risiet, you are a, all of that is made up. You're talking about material culture that could not be made up. There's that much stuff there. So uh, when he says that it's all been made up, once again, I'm going to. Story wasn't if the story wasn't made up, then they, this, match the physical this, age, then they would match the physical age place, of the structures that they allegedly came off. In this place, when if you make stories, the comment, if the stories is true, then why are the structures? The comment, why are the structures you older? Than you the have story? to source up. And so I want if you. The stories are true, Jabari. Then why are the structures of Egypt older than the stories? So it's a. What story. did you say? What did, you, what did you say? Again? If the stories are true, if this, if if the story, if 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 the meta nature was successfully deciphered, and the stories are true, then why are the structures that the stories are being applied to older than the actual story? You'll find the stories in the structures. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to, but no, you issue, can. But the issue is, Ask the structures have are older than the story. That, brother, how how could you make that claim? Because over 250 geologists have pumped millions of gallons of water out of the basements of these structures. There's specific weathering on the west sides of the pyramids. There's only if an inch to four inches of rain a year in Egypt. So even if you even based upon the calculation of the water damage on these structures alone, the, the water damage puts these temples at nothing less to forty to a hundred thousand years beyond the stories of 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 of, of who, who allegedly even built them. So my right. thing is if the meta nature or whatever you saying has successfully been de deciphered. Wildflower power, Gerald Mitchell in the building, Lolita, girly girl, Yanni Verse. Then why are the why are the stories that are being related to the structures uh unequivocal in age of the actual structures? Two things. When you're talking about questions around weathering, you're not talking about weathering on the on the myrrh or the Mirkut. You're not talking about the weathering on the pyramid. You're talking about the weathering on that um, beast, the Heru market. That no, I'm not. Don't tell me what I'm talking, talking about. about. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the pyramid. Wait, I'll let you finish. The brother, brother, I'll let you finish. You're not going to do that. You are not going to do that. When I sat here and listened to you, you got to let him finish, Pharaoh. Pharaoh, you got to let him finish. And I listened to you. They come, Pharaoh. No, they come, Pharaoh. Because Pharaoh, you not. I don't think you're thinking enough. Because me, I would be looking to count them. I love when a nigga talk. I want you to talk because I'm a counter your ass. Cause my chronology is so hard. And Pharaoh, what I'm seeing, Pharaoh throw looping shots. Uh, I told you the quickest way to get for a, a, a shot to land is logic. The quickest way is logic. Uh, on the other side of that is to be direct. You know what I'm saying? Logic will get there quicker than um, a direct answer or a question. 
or put a motherfucker in a position where they can only answer it uh, um, 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 directly. Pharaoh do a lot because he's not giving no dates. He gave pyramids. He didn't say which pyramid. He didn't give you the time frame. He didn't give you a date. None of these things to put you at a point of foundation where you sit to make your point. Because if you're going to go there, then that means I'm already equipped. You know what I'm saying? I went here because in this stance because I know I can get my, my combination on my offense out for it. So I'm only going to go where I can sit. If not, then, you know, I'm going to find my way around the ring. You know, we might dance or something until I can find something where I can. But Pharaoh let him throw so you could be looking to counter, but Pharaoh's not a counter puncher because in order to be a counter puncher, you got to be solid on your chronology. And that's that's counter puncher and it's pressure because you're always there if a nigga throw or if you have to defend it. Because yeah, you yeah, you're gonna defend, but I'm always looking to be on offense. And Pharaoh uh shots are looping because none of his answers are direct, none of his questions are direct. The things he was saying falls in a generalized category, it could go either way. And um um come on, Pharaoh. Now Tahuti then came in that motherfucker. Tahuti um is a um he's going to be looking for you some head, you know what I'm saying? You can't be sitting on the center line fucking with the hoodie, but let's let's see what happened. Now it's your turn to listen. He also didn't tell us he, he uses opt-in for everything. I would like for him to tell us how he knows that that deity is called opt-in if the language has not been deciphered. <laughs> We we damn near 30 minutes into the conversation and they haven't got off the first one because Pharaoh ain't answered it. And that's pretty bad, Pharaoh. You got we haven't even got past this. But if I was Jabari, I'd just say, all right, you know, make my point on that and then take him somewhere else in the deep water. If he don't know that, then I know he don't know this. And then I'll take his ass there. What's up? What's up? And I'll make him give me another where well, I ain't sourcing up. And I'll keep staying on his head about the nigga ain't got no sources. Just like I did Jabari that night. Each round, I illustrated to the audience that this brother did not even bring any sources or a PowerPoint tonight. Yeah, and I'll step on him. But uh, let's see, Pharaoh mentally don't even look like he in the game. To who he's finna step to him because you're a young Pharaoh and they gonna want to get some points on you, bro. He's yeah, not going to answer this. Hey, yo, Why? Hey, my, he my can't friend. answer it. All right, I don't see nothing yet. You see what I'm saying? The bar. Oh, no, all right. right, shout out to Tahuti. We got Tahuti in the building oh, as well. I share my screen. Okay, so now this. Is, oh, this okay. Is. You better do something. See, I'm gonna tell you in this game, a nigga don't like that. Boy, you better not let me find out you ain't got nothing. Then I'm finna enforce my will on you. And so now Pharaoh, he has to show something. Should have did this off the top, bro. Come on, bro. You don't never let him show no weakness. Let's walk. Just one of many, you know what I'm saying? Uh images that I have are like Come on, Pharaoh, no shit. Fuck you talking about. You just really shut the fuck up. So show me, so show me. Yo, no cursing, no cursing, Pharaoh. Remember, I said that earlier. I'm showing you so come on he's showing you respect he's no, showing you respect. what does it say what, show me how that slide says what you say just be quiet please. world and thunder shrug no shell out in the building this is um this is the lower chamber of the red pyramid so this is one of the points of argument that i want to just continue to say uh i mean before i jump into it these are uh erosions in the sides of uh the sphinx oh so you're saying i said no i'm not i'm going through images shut the fuck up Tiffany Jones. come on yo pharaoh young say he got him fuck pharaoh george with you what's up with you family man he got he and pharaoh here right now and let's walk got him frustrated he ain't want to have to pull nothing up and they ain't pulled it up Pharaoh, oh, come on, man. Mean Pharaoh, tell him stop talking while I'm talking. Let him go, Jabari. Let him go, Jabari. You did the whole time. So with that being said, this is weathering on the west side of the Great Pyramid. Uh, you know, these this is three different forms of water damage on three different structures. I'm not just talking about one structure. Now, not only is this three different structures, 
there's way more structures outside of these three. Name and the name point I'm trying to shit. make is the water damage, not just weathering from sand, but the weather, but but the water damage here. Who took this picture? Did you take this picture, young brother? No, I didn't take the who 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 took this picture? Did you did you take this picture? Have you been there? So you asking me, am I gonna believe Sham Paleon? If he, because he said he uh, uh, deciphered the metal nether, or are you gonna believe the photographer of this picture, or the archaeologist that told you about this, and you didn't go find out yourself? Yeah, I turned the gun up while being on that nigga. Had boy rib shots, kidney shots. Because at this point, I'm not even feeling like you can hurt me. Because for one, you was intimidated to pull your PowerPoint up. So now you didn't got it up. You don't even sound too confident in it. Now I feel like I don't think you got nothing in them hundred slides that can hurt me. So now I'm finna just walk to you. It's so severe on these structures that, and this was confirmed by over 250 geologists. You can go get Stephen Mailer, uh, that these structures are older than the stories applicable to, to, to who they say built them. Period. Here's here's uh water in the bottle of, in the bottom of the temple of Osiris. This water used to be at way of a higher depth. So the point I'm trying to make is my argument goes even longer than this, but I'm not going to show you my PowerPoint. But my point is, because you, you actually in there. That use real science <laughs> and real um chemistry to date the pyramids, you will see that the or excuse me, not to not just date the pyramids, but date pretty much any and all structures throughout Egypt, you'll see that there was a body of water there before the Nile River was there called the Ur Nile River. And this is why the Nile River is eight miles off of its natural course. But you'll see that there was enough uh you'll see that there was enough um water there to sustain you'll see that the entire landscape of Egypt was totally different than what we're taught. And not only that, you'll see that these structures are at minimum 40 to 100,000 years old. And this puts them above and beyond the scope of what of, of the stories that they're attributing to a lot of these. Hey, shout out to Indian Ken, uh, doubling the block again. Pharaoh, I don't like your energy right now. You don't sound confident in what you're saying. We need dates, nights, time periods, bro. Um, you you got to do a little better here before even the date they said they did it. How could the Hebrews have built the Temple of Ramesses if the Temple of Ramesses was here before uh, they were allegedly enslaved? All of these all of these structures are older than a good majority of the stories given to us by Egyptologists. This is a fact. This is a, this is a fact. This is a fact. That's an undeniable fact that nobody is able to get around. That's an undeniable fact. That's yeah. an undeniable fact. Are you finished? You're saying the same thing over and over. Are you finished? <laughs> Do you understand that, though? I'd like to respond to what you just said. Go ahead, brother. First of, all, first of all, I want you to understand. He said, how could Khufu have built the Red Pyramid? Khufu didn't build the Red Pyramid. His father did, Seneferu. Come on, no historian says that Kufu yeah, built the red pyramid. Analogy, right. By the way, how, I how, think how, how could he how wait could, a minute, bro. Hold up, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, you got it. Hey, this is what I say, bro. When you talking, make sure you are on your point where you are equipped to defend yourself and be offensive. But see, when a nigga get to talking, he on the point, then you done went off into something else, bro. That opens you up for a counter because you talking, you didn't win some well, you might not be that efficient in that area, bro. And then you didn't say something, and I'm gonna exploit you. Kufu ain't do you should have just said Fort Dynasty. If you go nigga, you generalizing the whole night, you ought to know when it's time to generalize. And all that is 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 uh, a faint. You know what I'm saying? Now, you can in that term of generalize instead of being a loop of shy, it could be a faint. It's not even a real punch, but I just fainted. But you gotta be ready to get out of there now. He didn't got you, and Jabari is he know what he's doing, and he's gonna take advantage of the fact that you was wrong on something. 
So I'm finna let the crowd know. I don't let them finish. We need, about this. we need to be very clear about this. Young Pharaoh is out of his depth. He'd be better to be in my class than to be arguing with me tonight. Um, the reality is that no one argues that the Red Pyramid was built by Kofi. Okay. The Red Pyramid was built by his father. His father built two or three Merkutu. Seneferu. So I, I just want you to know. Hold on, young Pharaoh, you got to let him finish, brother. And I also need for you to hear very clearly that I asked him to source up. He showed me a picture with his typing on the bottom of it. Does he think that's a source? Does he think that's a source? I, I, I cited my source. Oh, I said Stephen no, Mayer. I so said let's Stephen be Mayer. very clear. I said Stephen Mayer and 250 not, geologists. If you are going Stephen to Mayer, do something, I said young Stephen Pharaoh, Mayer. young Pharaoh, young Pharaoh. That's Come on, brother. You got to let him finish, brother. He's giving you that respect. He's giving you that respect, man. Let no, the brother finish. You, you have to be patient when you're in there, bro. You have to be patient. Pharaoh have fallen out of favor with the, the referee because a nigga thought they, they was going to see fireworks. And right now, bro, yo, that momentum is shifted right now. Jabari is uh, in his bag. And you haven't threw nothing all night to make him respect your power, bro. And he just offered you a seat in his class. And so right now he's feel like he's taking you to school. Mayweather versus 21-year-old Canelo, Saul Canelo Alvarez, nigga. Now, something. You have to know how to actually pull a source. And unfortunately, our brother is not pulling sources. That's the main one is a source. And with his own writing on it, and now he wants us to believe something based on, I guess, because he said it. How? That's, when what, that's what he thinks he's saying. So let me show you a, a, um, a, a scholarly article here. I mean, you know, I wasn't prepared to answer such a ridiculous comment, but we can do this on the fly because it is ridiculous. Told you. I just went to JSTOR. He a flyer. Right. He's a counter. And you'll see that I have a, a, a scholarly package he, on JSTOR because I'm he sees it. a scholar. He been doing um, and so as you look here, you know you're going to good. see this article is the length of Seneferu's reign and how long it took to build the Red Pyramid. Khufu did not build the Red Pyramid. So uh, this brother is out of his depth. This is a real problem here. Well, he showed you some rocks and said, this proves that there's water there. But let's be clear. There are several temples that have groundwater. That doesn't mean that's groundwater. It's not from rains. <laughs> Maria, you should die. She said Pharaoh 40. Now, Pharaoh's like 28. <laughs> and as I said to you, the only part that is in, that is in a, a lively debate <laughs> By the way, many scholars think the debate. What's up with it, Red Marie? I ain't seen you in a while. It is over. I happen to not believe the debate is entirely over. But there are many scholars that argue that there's weathering on the side of the Harrow Market statue that might argue that it is older. As I told you, that was the correct story. He went to his sources and realized that's the correct story. See, no, I have been true. teaching this for almost as long as you have been alive. So you have to understand, dear brother, you are out of your depth. You know Do you, you know that? Any... Them body shots hurt. He got him mentally frustrated already. Now he's fighting on the inside, working their body. And um, Pharaoh, we need you to throw something to get him off here. Only way you can do that is if you pull that PowerPoint back up, brother. And if you like I told Sadie the other day, she nigga, you you talking about you got a lecture of the year? We'll put it in front of something. A nigga on play with me. Y'all see nigga come over here off the fly. We get to pulling that work out the out the back. Nigga ain't because you ain't finna walk off and say, ah oh, yeah, I got one now. Nah, we finna get that work out here. Only way you can throw back and get that work, especially nigga, you got Jabari showing his screen. A nigga who do not like to screen share. You got your boy not even afraid of your power right now. 
and he's even screen sharing and he's digging down on the fact that you got one thing wrong and he's sitting on it. That's that's body shots. All you want. You can say you want to disrespect my credentials all you want and talk about YouTube views. Hurry up and be done. The reality oh, yeah. is that Are you yeah. are only yeah. competing yeah. with cat yeah. videos. Yeah. Hurry up and be done. I'm yeah. talking about scholarship. Don't let them see Hurry you. Up and so if you want to be yeah. able to yeah. articulate yourself, you need to show us a proper source. It ain't never okay. He has not okay. shown okay. us anything. Can I go, please? The Can I go? only thing, the Can only go, thing that Young Tyler has <laughs> showed us was some rocks. I'm not going to even go there. I want Young Farrell to. Bro, you think you be talking about y'all get in there with your boy and dance, bro? You know what I'm telling you? He will get your ass. Yeah, I ain't. I frustrated him and, 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 and took it to his ass. Uh, and then he got a back door. Watch this here. Farrell finna have to back door to Hootie. Fresh legs. Listen to me. They finna send some fresh legs in there on him. To just stick. Okay, um, so let me on, let me let me on, say this time minute or so he can stop wasting my time. I'm wasting your time. I'm waiting so, an hour for you, bro. Sneferu and Kufu are not even real people that ever actually existed. Hey, let's get the light. Sneferu literally just means double harmony. And this is why the bent pyramid, along with some of them other pyramids, are bent because they conduct two separate frequencies. Now I said to say this: the story of those building of those pyramids does say that. Look at Tahuti eyes. Y'all see that nigga eyes? <laughs> Look at Tahuti eyes, man. Farrow that went, oh, see? And guess what? I will step to him. Pull that source up. Let us see it. Because you just took us out of space. Uh, Not just Nefru, but Khufu, because they say he built one and his son built one. But what I'm saying is not only... Don't those structures once again outdate the stories? Those people never even existed. Those people denote the purpose of those structures. Also, you said I never cited the source. I just showed you not only scanned straight out of the book, The Land of Osiris by Stephen Mailer. I told you not, not only did I cite Stephen Mailer, I said 250 geologists will confirm. Then you want to sit here and say groundwater. I didn't just show you groundwater. I showed you 40,000 to 100,000 years of weathering on the size of the pyramids. And then I also showed you water erosion in the bottom of the red pyramid, which would be underneath the foundation, which would be the basement, which would, uh, which, which, excuse me, which showed mm. the a higher water level that these structures were in contact constantly at the time. And I also gave you the name of the river. I said the Ernau River, which is the higher form of what the Nile River once was before Egypt lost a specific level of hydration. So I've given you sources. And once again, you know, I don't understand if you just, if, if you just wanted, I don't know what your problem is or what you, no, why you no, hiding no, here. No, I'm no, telling no, you no, now, no. what I'm saying is this. Fuck this. The stories themselves are irrelevant to be arguing about because they're not real. They're not real. Sneferu and Khufu are, are, are names that denote frequencies. They're not even actual the actual people that actually built the structures because the structures are even older than the damn stories. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nobody could have built the structure around that time period because the time the structure was already here. And the names that are being attributed to these structures are actually being read by esoterics to denote the points of them. And this is why it has a double bend, because it used to generate electricity and, and, and it was used to emit a certain frequency. So the story is allegorical. What are you talking about? Just like the Bible, just like in the Bible, they say the characters are allegorical. That story is in Egypt is being told is telling the history of Egypt through Egyptology, but it's allegorical. It's, that's not true either. The names are denoting the points of the pyramids, and the structures were actually here way, way longer than that. The story is is younger than the structure that is being attributed to interact with. Those those structures are older. Than Pharaoh have a point on it. I think he he have to find a better strategy. To get his offense out. Because one thing you have to understand is you can feel like you know or you can understand where you're coming from. 
but the objective is to paint the picture to the people who are listening. You're not just talking to Jabari and Sarnetta. You're talking to the people and right now Jabari has the crowd and he's out there doing the Ali shuffle with his hands behind his back. Then Kufu or uh, <laughs> those structures are older than Kufu or, uh, or, 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 or or any of them could have been. This is what I'm saying. What they say they built it between 3200 to 2200 BC. So that's what three to three to six thousand years ago. Those structures are 40 to 100,000 years old. So nobody could have never built them back then because they was already there. So what I'm telling you is the people in the Egypt in the stories of Egyptology are allegorical as well, just like in the Bible. A lot of this stuff mm. can be taken literally. It's meant mm. for the purpose of the structure. And this come all. This is understood by technologists, technocracists. This is why microchips and, and, and microchipping is based upon the structures of the pyramid, because it's meant to tell you how it's supposed to work, without you really understanding it if you can't see behind the veil. But long story short, it's all esotericism, <laughs> but it's not literal. It's not to be you doing the same thing that you would try to argue with a Christian about doing. You taking the story literal because you have a misunderstanding of what it really means. And you're a teacher. That's why you're supposed to articulate what it really means. Even if you're going to say that, it should be a teaching moment then. See, Jabari uh, put a shoulder roll on you and with the uh, Seneferu and the Red Pyramid, but you not knowing your chronology in the Fourth Dynasty, that nigga, uh, yeah, he he, 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 he turned around and used that on you and, and made it a teaching moment. He didn't just say it. So we have to be... People that are in the game, bro, you you have to be ready to to pull your shit up and have your shit should have had your shots uh ready, bro. Cause now you a nigga out here just talking and the board and said four times I counted them. He hasn't shown us anything. And and you don't understand that. And you don't respect science. Like I said, over <laughs> not one imagine going to court and having one person testify on you. And how much pressure you will be under versus if you had 250 people say they saw you do it. So, mm -hmm. so, so take that understanding and let me not just say Stephen Mailer, but let me say even outside of Stephen Mailer in the scientific community, over 250 professional, not, not government employed geologists confirm that these structures have internal damage underneath the foundation that is so great, that is so great that these structures could not be any less to, to 40,000 to 100,000 years old. So I say that to say they're even older than the stories. So that right there moves <coughs> the story so the story can't be true. But then also I'm mm. telling you you have a misunderstanding of the story. <coughs> the same way a lot of Christians got a misunderstanding of the story. It's allegorical. And the word sneferu just means double harmony. I can tell you the exact frequency that it meant. Like I said, this is stamped right out of the book. This ain't no, I ain't making it up. <laughs> this is stamped right out of the books. I got the number one library in the world out of any black man. Well, shit, you send it to my ear, gonna show no sources. So I still sound like you just talking. That's how I come in with it. Say, brother, you are just doing all this talking when you have all this time to share us some of this library that you have, brother. Prove to us that you are the number one scholar. Prove to us that you got the number one library because tonight, unfortunately, brother, you haven't proven anything. It's just stamp right out of the book. You telling me you you ain't you know saying it just says what it is. It just says what it is. And the upper walls of the red pyramid was hey y'all. Let's get the likes over 200. Let's get the likes over 200. Shout out to everybody in the building right now. Was used was used for acoustic resonance. It was used to vibrate sound. That's the truth. That's the truth. And water used to flow through it, flow through it in what was called an aqueduct, and it would generate electricity. It was like a giant power plant. That's why they took the capstone off it. So I say that to say, you know, your understanding of Egypt is not is not correct. It's not correct. It's not correct. This is why I'm the leader of the black community. This is why I'm the general. This is why I'm the one that's about to work with Japan and build a Japanese slash Egyptian palace in Costa Rica. This is why I'm the one that got the shout out from the CIA. This is why I'm the one. And it's not you, because you don't know what you're talking about. Not you. 
He's saying the same thing. Make this move along. He's saying the same thing now. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. That this is why I was number one on the app store for education, and it wasn't you. It's why you the one shaking your head looking crazy. <laughs> You yeah, need to moderate, brother. Come on now. He's saying the same all thing. All right, all right, young Pharaoh. Young Pharaoh, uh, you gotta let him go. You gotta let him go and man. don't cut him off. We he lets you speak. He lets you speak for five minutes without cutting you off. I don't want this to turn into no debate. That's all I want to say. I'm gonna leave that right there. Do we right, have, right. Now I mean you let me you say, add, now let you know, very clearly say. say all right, let him go, young Pharaoh. Let him go. Let me say several things. I don't know if he realizes that he's defeating himself. He tells you that the meta netter has not been translated. Then he tells you the meaning, which is incorrect, by the way, of the name Seneferu. So if it hasn't been translated, how can you tell us the meaning? <laughs> it does not mean he is balanced. <clears throat> Nefer means beautiful or perfect. Sen is, is like brother. So it's almost like this brother has perfected things. That's his name. That's his name. So he's telling you we can't translate the language. Then he gives you a whole word salad for seven minutes. But then he tells you what the word means, but it hasn't been translated. Boy, I'm telling you. Sonnet, I'm going to get you for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you for this. So, and I want you to be clear, he is still not showing any sources. He's not shown any sources. He said to you that Stephen Mailer, Mailer is a geologist. Stephen Mailer is not a geologist. This is Stephen Mailer. Here you go. Hassan Eder, can you please show? This is Stephen Mailer. He's a European dude that says that he knows the knowledge of Kemet. He's an independent archaeologist, independent Egyptologist, he calls himself. That's what he is. None of them say that he's a geologist, as he just told you he is. Why am I refuting him with his own words? Why is this happening? By the way, he told he wanted to tell you, you want to bleed the Caucasians. Then he says, uh, you need to listen to Stephen Miller. Is, this a, is he a walking contradiction? I'm sorry, is this man not a person of European descent? Who is this person then, if that's who he's talking to? Who is this person? This person doesn't have more information than I do. He hasn't led more tours. He's a Rosicrucian. I'm the comedic priest. I'm the one that deals with allegory. He says, I don't deal with allegory and I don't respect science. Those two things are opposite, brother. You can't say those two things together unless you have no problem not making sense. Then he says, these things are older because there's water under it. And I told you it's groundwater. I have seen it. You have not seen it. I'm a ground, a, a, it's groundwater. Groundwater comes up lots of time. I mean, there's groundwater coming up in Miami right now. That doesn't, that doesn't tell us a, a year. Oh. What you're confusing, well, and you've completed a bunch of arguments that I could better argue. I could make your argument better than you. That's how I, that would say. I got stuff to do. This is a waste of time. Oh no, I did. I need to rewind it, bro. I had went and got my food, man. I got my wings and my vegetable rice. And and hold on, I hold on, y'all apologize. I need to go back. Cause right now Jabari is stalling on this young man. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Damn Jabari, boy, you look like me. Boy, I, I don't let me catch you and you ain't got no shots on you. I'm finna do you bad, bro. You ever seen a nigga draw down on a nigga and he ain't got no weapon on him and you just had your way with him? No, he didn't. Just, what happened for him to tell Pharaoh that? I'm going to get you for this. Huh? So This is why I'm the one that's about to work with Japan and build a Japanese slash Egyptian palace in Costa Rica. This is why I'm the one that got this shout out from the CIA. This is why I'm the one. Ain't gonna hit and it's not right you because you don't know what you're talking He's saying the same thing. Make this move along. He's saying the same thing now. You, you don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Where are you, you don't know what you're talking about. This is why I was number one on the app store for education, and it wasn't you. 
Tonight you're getting educated. It's bro. like you the one shaking your head looking crazy. <laughs> I, need you, I need you to moderate, brother. Come on now. He's saying the same all thing. All right, all right, young Pharaoh. Young Pharaoh, uh, you got to let him go. You got to let him go and don't cut him off. We He lets you speak. He lets you speak for five minutes without cutting you off. I don't want this to turn into no debate. That's all I want to say. I'm going to leave that right there. Do we right, have, right. Now, I mean, you got let me say, you add, let you know, very I, clearly you say. All right, let him go, young Farrell. Let him go. Let me say several things. I don't know if he realizes that he's defeating himself. He tells you that the metanetter has not been translated. Then he tells you the meaning, which is incorrect, by the way, of the name Seneferu. So if it hasn't been translated, how can you tell us the meaning? <laughs> <laughs> it does not mean he is balanced. <clears throat> Nefer means beautiful or perfect. Sen is is like brother. So it's almost like this brother has perfected things. That's his name. That's his name. So he's telling you we can't translate the language. Then he gives you a whole word salad for seven minutes. But then he tells you what the word means, but it hasn't been translated. Boy, I'm telling you, Sonette, I'm going to get you for this. <laughs> I'm going to get you for this. So, and I want you to be clear, he is still not showing any sources. That's number five. What I told y'all, that's the fifth one I heard. I don't know if he said it before I left. Let me tell y'all something, bro. Talking about get in the ring. Listen, bro, this shit here ain't just about what you think you know. You better know how to think in that motherfucker, bro. In that square, can't nobody help you, bro. And right now, tonight, bro, he just, the boy, just, he on a different level than, than Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? And he's showing it and he's schooling it because all the little tactics, he used a few tactics that, in that position, that's what you do. And he keeps leaning on the fact the brother don't have no sources. When I fought him, what I do? I lean on the fact this nigga ain't bro Come on, man. He know, he said, that little nigga, that can box. That nigga box his ass out. And he hit hard. Notice all the shit he catching and he countering and he debunking on this nigga. He couldn't debunk shit on me because everything I said was a ball. Every boy, every punch I threw, nigga landed, nigga, and goddamn, nigga, he felt them hoes so much that he couldn't even. He said, "I don't even know where to begin." I know them hoes hurt, and right now, Pharaoh, he's taking you to school. He's not shown any sources. He said to you that Stephen Miller, Miller is a geologist. Stephen Miller is not a geologist. This is Stephen Miller. Here you go, son. Editor, can you please show? This is Stephen Mailer. He's a European dude that says that he knows the knowledge of Kemet. He's an independent archaeologist, independent Egyptologist, he calls himself. That's what he is. And a lot of people call him pseudo. None of them say that he's a geologist. Call him pseudo because he be making some hell of a claims about Egypt. So, I mean, you know, he even made some claims about a connection between Maya and, and it, like um, yeah, you gotta be careful, Pharaoh. Just as he just told you he is. Why am I refuting him with his own words? Why is this happening? By the way, he told he wanted to tell you you want to believe the Caucasians. Then he says, I, you need to listen to Stephen Miller. What I told y'all earlier, I do to him. Let me go on his ass. I told him I'd do the same thing to him. You telling me, nigga, I can't use the white boy? And you gonna come back and use the white boy? That nigga, is, 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 he walked him down, took him in deep water, and they ain't drowning him, bro. Oh. They ain't drowning him. Is, this a, is he a walking contradiction? I'm sorry, is this man not a person of European descent? Who is this person, then? if that's who he's talking to. Who is this person? <laughs> this person doesn't have more information than I do. He hasn't led more tours. He's a Rosicrucian. I'm the comedic priest. I'm the one that deals with allegory. 
He says, I don't deal with allegory and I don't respect science. Those two things are opposite, brother. You can't say those two things together unless you have no problem not making sense. Then he says, these things are older because there's water under it. And I told you it's groundwater. I have seen it. You have not seen it. I'm a ground, uh, uh, it's groundwater. Groundwater comes up lots of times. I mean, there's groundwater coming up in Miami right now. That doesn't, that doesn't tell us a, a year. What you're confusing, and you've conflated a bunch of arguments that I can better argue. I can make your argument better than you. I got stuff to do. This is a waste of time. <laughs> this is a waste of time. I mean, we'll work this the question way. is around the heteromach. He took rain generalship. He's making a statement to the judges that I am in complete control. That I am in control. And and well, fuck it. Because there is weathering on the sides of the enclosure that some people argue is by rain, not by groundwater. And so because they say that, they say, well, when was the last time there were great rains in Kemet? Probably 15,000 years ago. So there's some people who argue that the Heruamakit must be 15,000 years. I'm not going to even go into that right now. He's conflated lots of things together. That don't make sense about a place he's never been to. Damn. Speaking of people that don't know him. God damn. What is happening? Damn. This is ridiculous. Nigga, three and he still has not four. shown us a source. I'm showing you his sources. Ah. He don't know what the word um, decipher means. He says Stephen Miller is a geologist. He is not. He says you shouldn't listen to Europeans. Then he tells me that I have to listen to Stephen Miller. He's working. What is happening here? This doesn't make any sense. All right. Um, Jabari. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yo. Hold on. Jabari, um, if you ready to roll, you can go ahead. I'm gonna let um I'm gonna let Tahuti, one more thing. I'm gonna let Tahuti come in right now. Yeah, I want to say one more thing. I I'm gonna say one more thing. Hold on, hold on, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, hold on, hold on, Pharaoh. He wanna make one more statement. Go ahead. I was not finished. Now, um, what young Pharaoh has done is he's conflated. He said that one yeah. of that the, the pyramids no might have been. been. Nah, don't do that, Pharaoh, bro. Fuck, man, niggas be tripping, bro. The game ain't gonna be respected, bro. We got it now, man. Y'all niggas water in the game. This shit like the hip hop industry, bro. This shit like the streets now. Everything watered down. Nigga, you, the rules are the rules when you get in here, nigga. Protect yourself at all times, nigga, and stand on your own. I don't get your ass between these ropes. A lot of these niggas out here be talking, and they really ain't got nothing. And that's what I'm saying, bro. I want to get in it. Man, these niggas be talking and they don't be having nothing. I'm not even just saying Pharaoh. It's a lot. Most of the niggas in the game. 95% of the people in the game don't have nothing. It's so far of a gap from the niggas who are on the elite level to the rest of the niggas. They think they have something, bro. But they really, I'm looking at them, bro. I see niggas style delivery. I just studied everybody game from their footwork to their defense to their strength. They, all of that shit, bro. A lot of these niggas don't have nothing because they don't even really know how to do this shit. They think because they got a paper and they say whatever they believe or wherever they coming from that they can just present this and this. Nah, bro, you better know what to, what to do when you in that hole, nigga. This shit here is crazy. Built by his son he, or his father. He's correct, but he's confusing who he's talking about. There are some people who argue that Seneferu built three Mirkutu, right? One at Amidum, one at Dasher, and the one that is known as the Red Pyramid today. There are other people that said his father or stepfather, Huni, might have built one of them, and he might have completed one of them. Hey, yo, I'm going, I'm going, y'all are some fucking niggas. So that's, so dick. that's the, that's what he's complaining. Oh, Khufu was not the builder of the Red Pyramid. Yeah, 
That is Seneferu that built the Red Mirku. Pharaoh Lil. And once again, I have been inside of the Red Mirku. All right, Jabari, um, you made him get out, man. You made him run, man. PKO. Um, <clears throat> That's a stoppage, bro. He stopped him. No mas. Uh, yeah, um, real quick, Jabari. I know Tahuti wanted to get at him and say a few things, but sorry, Tahuti, he left. What do you think, man? What do you think about what you're hearing, man, or what you see, Tahuti? I actually... um. I was sitting here looking at him. I feel a little sorry for the brother, man. I know y'all. I'm looking in the chat. Everybody going in on him. I'm looking like, damn, man. I just don't know. I just, I don't know, man. I told you. Go ahead, go ahead Tahuti. What you think? I told you. Hey, peace, everybody. Peace, uh, peace, everyone on the panel. Greetings. Um, yes, I definitely wanted to to interact with the young brother. I actually was. Uh, sent a question into my pod class over whether the metanetter had been deciphered or translated. I told the person that I wasn't going to answer um, because I was waiting to speak to the three main people that are promoting this to the hundreds of thousands of people, and that is Sarah Soon Seti, Young Farrell, and Walter Williams. So uh, when I heard about this, I came on, and now before I had a chance to speak, I guess uh, Jabari pushed him back into the rabbit hole. Not sure where he went, but he was pushed back out of existence. And um, that's too bad. But um, hopefully he'll, he'll come on. It, that was not mature of you, um, young it fellow. Was, it ain't look right, bro. Take look the word right. young out of your name and come back better. Um, I did have some things I wanted to present. If there's any representatives of his that believe the men has not been translated, they can uh, come up and we can discuss too. But I really wanted to speak directly with, uh, with him with what I wanted to show. Is he called totally off sonnet or is he in the back room waiting? Nah, nah, he locked. He he I'm hitting him up now, man. Texting him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he gone. Yeah, so um it's absolutely not... uh love to speak with him. Oh, and, um, if that is... a nigga don't belong in the ring with you, bro, you supposed to get him out of there. That's why even these little weak niggas that be around in the chat and all of that and be coming around and Man, all of them niggas that, that came through, we got them out of there. If you don't belong in there with a nigga, get them out of there. Not having no tough battles or playing with no nigga or finna be going 12 with no nigga that's not on my level. I'm going to get in. I'm going to get you out of there, bro. It's a very unfortunate um, statement and agenda that's being pushed. That the, and then I saw him definitely change it. He changed yes, it from the men that has not been. Before. You saw that too, <laughs> right, <laughs> <laughs> you change it from the Mednetter has not been deciphered to yes. it's not a speakable speakable language, which is, which right. is two different arguments. One, yes. one, one, one actually can be argued unless you hear someone um, speak it fluently, but as long as you're repeating something that you're reading and you say it to someone, you literally are speaking to them. If you say, how are you doing, and you read that in Mednetter, you are beautiful, and the person answers, thank you. You are speaking men. Whether anybody can speak it fluently is another topic. But whether it can be deciphered, of course, it was uh, translated. They love to use the word deciphered when it comes to men. But translated when it comes to every single other um, language. Um, so, yeah, I'll wait a little bit, see if he comes on. If not, Boy. maybe I will show what I had about the men that are being translated and deciphered according to Young Pharaoh. But you, did you I see that? I, I wasn't going to let him switch the goalpost at the beginning of the conversation. He would have been smart to allow the goalpost to stay shifted. <laughs> but, but once I showed the flyer, he's like, no, that is what I'm arguing. That's the problem. I told you, bro, you got to stand on what you, if a nigga see a weakness in you, bro, I'm attacking Jabari, got him and stayed on one point. Something that Pharaoh could have got out of if you just stand on what you, that's why they generalize and shit. You don't really know where you at chronologically. That means your feet not planted. You not set. Or you can end up being a nigga can show an angle and goddamn me, yo, you can you won't you can be out of place, bro, out of position. And you know, it could be a flash knockdown. Like nigga, man, I don't know. I take this shit too serious, bro. I take it too serious, and I, I just see. See, Pharaoh finna use the same PowerPoint that he had in 2017 that he was gonna that he was trying to fight the Omni Rod squad with. He got five year old information and he finna come out here. That, I'm just different, bro. 
I'm different. If you're going to say the amendment has not been deciphered, you're going to lose that argument all day long. All day, all all day long. All day, all day long. Wow. You can't say the sentence. You can't even say the sentence in the argument. It it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. And then tell us this is a Kepper. Well, how do you know it's a Kepper? My organization is called Aten. Well, how do you know that? This man's name means (laughs) um, he's balanced. Well, how do you know that if you're not reading something? (laughs) <laughs> so uh, he's making arguments that don't fit and he says he's showing sources all he did is show us some blocks and say what he said about him that's not a source he said Stephen Miller was a geologist Stephen Miller's not a by the way I know Stephen Miller yeah, I know yeah, he's, he's, he's independent he's an independent researcher virtually everyone that goes run. there at the same time of the year knows each other yeah that's, that's he runs that person is. come on yeah. Steve, at least I'm even connected to a university. I would also say <laughs> I'm an independent chemitologist, but I'm a I'm a I'm a professor. This listen, I've heard what he says, Tahuti. <coughs> Razzle Dow's in the building. What up though? What's up with it, Lloyd McCoy to turn up one time? If you and I were standing there listening to him on the tour, I would have to hold you see how relaxed Tahuti is. Tahuti's even more relaxed than me. I would have to hold Tahuti back. He said he's not gonna say that to the people. I would have to hold you back because most of what he says doesn't make sense. I've heard it in the temple. All right, real quick, Jabari. Let me bring on the young champion, man. Um <clears throat> brother Commissioner Depp. What's going on t- with you, my gave him crazy work. Crazy work. The young champ. Man, I done gave all these nigga work. My brother. Oh, by the way, by the way. Son editor. Son editor. Oh, son editor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a great reunion. Hey, peace, everybody. I remember Judah Nazareth, Kamishan, and Jabari. This yeah, yeah, no doubt. Nice oh, shit. Judah Naz flexing his muscles. <laughs> yeah, all, all is well. All is well. Um, yeah, yeah, peace. Hey Judah, we ain't we ain't in for no clown stuff now, brother. Come with scholarship and let's have a good bill. Yeah, so um, Jabari have um yeah, Jabari is the king right now. Right now. And we got some young brothers trying to come up and take the title from him. I will be going to Africa with him. He really convinced me that I need to go, and I am gonna go. I'm gonna go to Egypt for the first time. God damn, man. Oh man, this is going to be beautiful. I will be going to Egypt. Um, I got to go at least one time in my life. So, brother, commission the debt. It's on you, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you I think want... about the whole thing that you just witnessed, brother? Oh, oh, it's clarity that need to be brought forth, brother. And um, what it boils down to is that we have to be bold and courageous as our ancestors. When Cheek Ante uh, Dia, the elder went against, you know, Roman academia. He was called pseudo and everything else. But the fact of the matter is what our people don't know, because I'm one of the ones that'll tell you that the European ain't deciphered the metal met as well. But I got sources to prove why they did it. For one, i give you this. The Rosetta Stone that was used by Champollion now that's, that's one. came from the Ptolemies. It was created during the time of the Ptolemies. Everybody know this. Nobody would deny this. Also, the obelisk, the Pele obelisk, was also a tool that he used in his so-called decipherment. However, these things came after the ancestors. So now they would say, well, how do you get the words then, Commission? The words that were used in order to create what they are calling today you know, transliterations, they come from Coptic. This is what Champollion was dealing with. Coptic, you know, with some people even say Greek, you know what I mean? Now, this is the same argument Pharaoh was trying to make, but he he didn't know how to articulate himself. So um, let's see what Commission going to do. Mean, but I always tell you, ain't no such thing as Greek. Brother Commission, do you say that... um... Do you believe that the metal nets are have not been deciphered or not, not according to our ancestors? But I tell you why though. So okay. I can show you Champollion's alphabet chart that he created during his time period. 
in order to say that it has been deciphered according to our ancestors, you would have to have an alphabet chart that existed and was created by the ancient Egyptians. For example, in Arabic, you got an, Ar uh, an Arabic alphabet. Hey, shout out to the homie, Matt. That's crazy. I was just thinking about your ass the other day, Matt. Uh, good to see you, brother. Uh, shout out to Matt in the cash app. Shout out to uh, V8804. And shout out. Um, I appreciate that. Appreciate that From the air. Uh-oh, yeah. this might be a better challenge for you, Tahuti, right here. Yeah, you got a Hebrew You got a Hebrew chart now that exists in Hebrew. Meroitic, they have their alphabetic chart that come through the Meroitic teaching, right? But you will not find an ancient alphabet chart by the ancient. Now, the meaning of those symbols, and I have proof because I've been deciphering these things according to the way our ancestors would do it. So they were meant to be understood metaphysically. And it takes the ability to read the book of creation to do that. I'm talking about looking around in your environment. For example, if you want to deal with the hawk and how it has a relation or the falcon, how it's related to God, study the nature of the falcon. Study the characteristics of the falcon. Look at the sun. Study the characteristics of the sun. And then you can see why it was venerated and respected. And this is how you decipher metal net or metaphysically, not with alphabets. Now, the alphabet system is hieratic. I want to show, sir, if you allow me to show the people what hieratic is. And I don't want to go long drawn out, but I'm going to give you a source. And I'm going to stand down after that right there. Uh oh, Jabari, this might be um, if a good brother to talk away. with. Hey, uh, commission ready to sell some sources. Now he get a little pseudo, y'all. So watch out. <coughs> he got sources. I'm not willing to get in the rain, but let me show you this source. Go ahead. And you got to be able to read this family. I'm deciphering right now. As we speak. I'm transliterating hieratic papyri over here. As we speak, you see, for my class this weekend. So I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of that to let you see what happened. So I'm gonna share my screen right here. Man, I want to allow you man, to be able to bro. see this here. Now this is actually bro, someone bro. in the field, Nagai Masakasu, who has created a database, which I've been using for the longest. And he's going into hey, the history. Hey, hey, commission, real quick. I just yeah. want you to be careful and uh -huh. read your source over and over to you because we okay. have a source killer that uses sources against them themselves. So yeah. don't do the yeah. net party, brother. <laughs> now, 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 hey, what what have I always said about Jabor? I say he he is good at adjusting and he'll counter punch it. So he can take your source from you and use it against you. You know what I'm saying? I always said that. But that's why you have to give me so much credit, bro. Because when I was in there with him, I was the one taking his sources. So in my second round, I took away everything in his first round, just like I had already knew what he was going to say. So my second round, I came and picked everything he said apart. And so, yeah, man, he is good at that. I agree with Sarnetta. He's a counter puncher, and he can take your weapon from you. He can disarm you. But I can do that too, and I show I can do it better. He ain't debunk now. Time now. One of my sources. He ain't get the run back, nigga. Bad motherfucker. Niggas gonna give me my credit, man. Don't do the that next alley, brother. It ain't <laughs> yeah, gonna be able to do this right here. They ain't gonna be able to do this here. They ain't gonna take me long neither, sir. Go ahead, brother. BM. I want the people in the chat to do this on their own. I'm going to show you, but BM10682, right? This is actual papery in the British mu Museum, right? That's British Museum. Now, let me show you what happened. This is research by one in the field doing this, right? Within the research of Egyptology in the field of Egyptian language, when one wishes to study the original documents written in hieratic script, original documents it says there's a tendency for scholars to use texts that have been transliterated 
into hieroglyphs, which should be called transliterated texts as primary sources. They've been using hieroglyphs as primary sources, but they're not the primary source. So. This author said by this situation in research in Egyptology and Egyptian language has presented several papers on research in Middle Egyptian papyri based upon his first-hand study of actual hieratic sources. So the source is hieratic, right? I can go deep into this, but I'm going to let you see what they said Alan Gardenia did, for example. It says, furthermore, I shifted my focus. Hey, we might got a fight on our hand. I'm curious to see what Tahuti them got to say. He's stepping to him. I'm another person feel like the metal never haven't been discipled. Let's see what the brother got. To a later period and conducted research on original hieratic texts written in late Egyptian and carried out research on a papyrus in collection of British Museum, right? At the present, based upon the data gleaned through that research, I'm in the midst of creating a digital database, and I got that database right here. I use it to transliterate my hieratic consistent of photographs of actual hieratic glyphs. In this paper, I take up the hieratic papyrus again, BM10682. Those are not hieroglyphs. If you pull that up in the audience, this is hieratic. That served as the primary source of this database that he created. You see? Now, what it says in here, to not go into this whole thing here, it shows that Alan Gardenia when he went in there and started translating certain things, he did these things, but he held back the hieratic papyri, the original manuscript. He only published hieroglyphic transliterations. Let me show you what this looked like, what happened when Gardenia did this, so our people can see what's being stated here. This is what happened when you trans, when you deal with, this is hieratic papyri. This is the original source material, hieratic, right? So anybody saying they demonstrate comedic and they can't go in and read this right here, they ain't dealing with this right here, they may be sadly mistaken. Because even right now, and what I'm translating, I'm running into a lot of errors in these European transliterations. This is the Chester Beatty pattern, right? This is their transcriptions in the hieroglyphics. Now ask yourself, which is the original? Is it this original paper that Alan Gardenia, a gardener, as they like to call him, cut up? Because it was a long paper originally, saw so He cut it up in pieces like the paper we have. And so when you look at this, this is what they transcribed it into. And I'm going to show you how they did it right here. They took signs that were hieratic and then say, well, this represents the woman. This looks like the woman. But when you look at a lot of these different signs, which are supposed to come from different dynasties, so some of these things are not adding up. So basically, they were guessing by putting these signs into pictorials. That they uh, uh, that look at white boy Chris, y'all. <laughs> that was on the wall. Now, we ain't going to sit here and tell you that they came up with this stuff, you know, as far as dealing with the ancient portion, because we know these things were on the wall. But what they don't know is during the period of Ptolemy, there was created what you call Ptolemaic hieroglyphs. And those Ptolemaic hieroglyphs were created during the time of Ptolemy. And so that alphabet system that Champollion is using is Ptolemaic. It's not ancient Kemet. You see? And that's what our people don't understand. So they've been using a Champollion system. All right. All right, Commission. You got you to gotta raise up now. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just trying taking to... taking over the show, show brother. <laughs> No, I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to take yes. off the show. But I, I got to you. You're good. They don't know what they're looking at. To show them. All right. You're going in. Them. You're going in. Um, this is just a little taste, Jabari. You got these young lions coming up. And and believe me, they, they coming up quick, brother. They coming for the title. So y'all, y'all, um, y'all, y'all champions, y'all gotta stay studying, man, because these that's what happened with Dr. Ben and a lot of people. They stopped studying. And these young lions, like the Armin Ross squad and the Dagger squad, they up and coming. So, um, do anybody would like to Ben stop studying? Well, in, no, I'm talking about as he got older. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Ben never stopped studying. You better stop it. 
Okay, I'm going to stop it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop it, man. But anyway, anybody would like to refute this or, or add on to what the brother's saying? Yeah, I want to add on one thing. Um, I, I just want to nah, add No, nah, no, hold up, Q. Hold up, Q. I had Judah in here first. Judah, go ahead, man. Uh, shout out to uh, so I met her. Shout out to the HOK. Shout out to everybody. Uh, shout out to uh, Black Jesus Minister to Hootie. Long time to hear from J Jabari, uh, brother Mike L Cube, uh, the copper Mike L. Shout out to hey, uh, just want to refute. Listen, no, no, no beef or whatever. Just want to say, um, commission is talking about script, and like there's a bunch of countries that go through various script changes. Like, I've been Japanese went through a change, a script change, uh, so called Hebrew went through script changes, several of them. Egypt went through several script ch uh, changes. Two, I just want to say real quick, has the meru netter, which only means the, the spoken words of the gods or divine words, which you can, you can find this. This is uh, Real quick, too, remember Jabari? Jabari, remember this book? Remember I had you fall on the sword? You were like, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you yeah. remember that? Around, yeah, so, so I want you guys to back. credit. You're showing okay. us the back. Yo, I want, <laughs> oh, this, this, this is the front. Yeah. <laughs> hey. get, get the laughs out and i'm gonna show why judah nazar and the tour knights are the absolute best go ahead, Everybody. Go ahead. So, so, so to my, my sons out there even if they're older than me sit down junior and listen let's listen to what jabari said he, he took the sword and went like this and i sat back about to cut his head off and i'm like, oh well i guess i can sit down and drink a beer this is what this is jabari uh read Coptic was the language spoken in Egypt from late ancient times to the 17th century when it was overtaken by Arabic as a national language. Derived from ancient Egyptian, the language of the hieroglyphs, it was written in an adapted form of the Greek script. So I could keep going, but it said derived from the ancient Egyptian language. Now, Saul Netter and Jabari laughed, but then guess what? Judah Nazra, what happened was everyone started talking about the Egyptian language for months. See, we create these word waves and these dudes surfing them. Real quick, long, I got a class. Hey, y'all, let's hit the likes up. Can you stop telling people? Hey, in the building. Lamont yeah. Brown, what up, though? These ministers here. You know, full Dude, well, look like a young man. old nigga. You want, uh, 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 round two to get knocked out again, where I can show I'm the absolute best all That nigga like time. one of them uh, and all my old niggas is all scared. in the biker club. You let me know. Be trying to fuck on his daughter or homegirls. Commission, stop running from tour nights. Judah Nazra, shout out to uh, Black Jesus Minister, shout out to Cube, big decide that I ain't trying to hog uh, the show. But tour nights and Judah, we're the best. The absolute. Oh, wait, wait, hold on real quick. To who he teaches like me now. You hear that, J2000? To Hootie, you don't teach like me now? Hey, peace, brother. How are you? You can unmute, no brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead and unmute it. Am I, am I on mute? No, no, we hear you. Yeah, no, you're, you're good. You're good. You're good. Hey, peace, brother. Long time no speak. I don't, um, I don't, uh, I don't argue with the people I debated over who won. I just ask everybody to respect the rules of engagements of the platform. So if you're part of a platform and there was rules and engagements, I debated you, Jabari, and Kamishan. And if there was rules of engagement of so the platform that both debaters agreed with, when the debate was done, whoever the announced winner was, was the winner. Um, I don't go back and forth. I don't do the drama. I don't shoot water guns. I don't know anything about that. So um, I know you've been wanting a rematch with me. I've never wanted a rematch with you because when I beat somebody, I don't ask to debate them again. But um, I'm well, not sure. Well, Judah, Judah, I didn't see the debate, but I've heard that Tahuti kicked butt. Now, I'm telling you what I heard. That's all I'm saying. I, I heard he kicked your butt. Black Jesus, That's what yeah. I heard. Black Jesus. Hey, hey, hey Jabari, Jabari, real, quick, better for hey, real quick, brother Jabari. Oh, Jabari, Jabari real quick. Oh, oh, oh. The, the big I'm topic sorry, was, what's better for our people? Let him say oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, one second. I wasn't actually talking about I was talking about. No, no, it was Tahuti talking now. It was Tahuti talking, though, Um, Judah. I'm sorry, Judah Nazareth. I'm sorry. When, when I came to the uh, when I came to the Lions Den, I was coming for an interview. You were the champion, correct? Is that right? When I came for my interview, were you the champion of the Lions Den? I don't know if you can hear me. That's what I was. Dude, did you can hear us. Were, were you yeah, the champion of the Lions Den? Everybody's the champion on Lions Den, so that doesn't mean anything. When I came for my interview, <laughs> this, this is why I don't get into these ridiculous conversations. I'm just asking a question. Can you be honest and answer? Were you the champion of the Lions Den when I answered my interview? Yes or no? 
Come on, Judah. Take yourself off. Well, everybody's a champion on, on Lions Den. Is that a yes or a no? I am. Me. Everyone's a champion on Lions Den. So I, I guess the, 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 the other Lions people. Den champion? Were you the Lions Den champion when I answered an interview and then you challenged me to a debate? Were you the Lions Den champion? Yes or no? So this brother. Uh, yes, he was. Go ahead, Tahuti. Were you the Lions Den champion? Oh, Tahuti, yes. yes. He said yes, Tahuti. Tahuti. Go ahead. Yes, Black yes, Jesus said yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, were you the Lions Den champion the day after we debated? Okay, you guys can. Yes, I'm still the Lions Den champion. Yeah. Well, no, man, you were not the Minnesota. champion after oh, that. Oh, you oh, lost. Oh. Uh, you lost, bro. He came in and took it from you, bro. I was there. Mm, okay. I was relevant but, to. Okay, well, okay, well, hold, watch this. Wait, hold on. Why y'all listen? This is why they're all afraid. Cause they know he said he don't want no debate because he's gonna get knocked out again. Like all right, all right, y'all. Come on, we got to move it forward. We got to move, move, move the conversation. I'm gonna ask, ask a question. Come on, man. He just lied. Let me ask a question. Black Jesus Minister, what was the debate topic? <sighs> this is not the right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm the best. He can't even answer. The debate topic was what's better, the Torah or Ma'at? Tahuti said, I don't practice Ma'at. So, uh, Black Jesus Minister said, Well, debate's <laughs> over, then you lose. Now all of a sudden he changed the story up. And this is why I'm the best. All, all right, dude. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, your internet has uh, defeated you. All right, so, come on. What's up? What's up, Q? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace, <laughs> peace, man. Um, you know, let me just get right into it. You know, uh, Brother Jabari, as I always say, man, you're a national treasure. Uh, I'm not one of these guys who, who, you know, who just come at you and, you know, just try to juice you for knowledge and just try to, you know, follow behind you like Christopher Harris and a lot of these other brothers. But I, I do think you are a national treasure to this community. But, um, you know, I, I want to thank you, number one, for that display, because I also use that same thing and, and that same form of logic when it comes to the fake black Hebrew Israelites. Because a lot of these fake black Hebrew Israelites, they claim that, you know, uh, they have these holy days, right? But there's things on these holy days that the Bible does not mention. And the only way to figure out these things is if you were to actually read the Talmud. So so when you when you came at it, when you came from that angle and you were asking the brother, like, well, what is the Kepra? Well, well what is your name? Well, what is your school? It's called the, the School of Aten and things of this nature. This is what the, the fake black Hebrew Israelites, they do the exact same thing because they would tell their followers or parishioners not to read the Talmud, but in order for them to have their holy days or their feast days or all of these things, they have... Their, their, their leaders have to read the Talmud. So that was one thing that I that I thought was a beautiful angle that you came from. And um, I think that you recognize early on that the dude is not really there and he has a, a, a mild case of mental illness. So I appreciate that, that, that you didn't just go full force and then just act like the dude wasn't just totally insane. So, so I do appreciate that, but but I'll pass it to the next brother. All right, um, let me get on over here, um, Mike Copper Chow. What's up, brother? Unmute yourself, the Copper Chow. Peace, what's good, everybody? Peace, brother. Yeah, peace, everybody. Peace. Yeah, I basically want to say something similar to Cube, but like just thank you, um, thank you for. Hold it, you know, for teaching and, and being you and, and, and not getting mad and going back and forth and screaming. Right. Thank you for setting a good example. Um, and thank you for being kind as you could, considering that he was, you know, talking to you the way he was. Um, you know, yeah, that's it, man. Um, I think uh, everybody can learn from you if we just listen. Um, and I just appreciate <laughs> what you do, you know, and, uh, that's it, man. I don't want to say too much more. You know what I mean? No, yes. like that. And I want to end it off with this, uh, uh, Jabari. Thanks for sending that nigga to the do what. Now I'm just playing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me bring on. Um, let me bring on Quana and then Black Jesus, because I know Black Jesus know how to run his mouth a little. Uh, Quana yeah. just comes in, and that's it. Quana, go ahead, brother. 
Yeah, peace to the panel, man. Great job, everybody. I want to congratulate Q on his victory a few weeks ago, man. Uh, great job. I really saw that, man. Uh, great appreciate debate. it, brother. Hey, appreciate that, brother. Uh, no doubt. Uh, also, uh, great job, Jabari, what you did tonight. You know, uh, I'm wow. kind of different with both of you, but you did a great job tonight. Uh, I always got respect for the brother to Hootie, man. You, you're real classy, real smooth with you, the way you do your things, man. I, I, I got to admit, man, one bout I'd love to see you do, man, for Kamisha, man. Kamisha, uh, see, like you know what he's talking about, man. See, like a lot of people running from him. Not saying you guys are, but I think it'd be a great debate. Same the movie, like even Jabari, man. That'd be great. I actually wanted to come like on earlier you know because uh, he our champion wanted to challenge uh, Pharaoh, and we also wanted to challenge Pharaoh for pay per view inside man, gonna the me. ring. Oh, yeah, right. Because we understand he's a martial nigga. artist, so we have a martial artist over here around the same age, same weight class. And we want to challenge him, uh, <laughs> FOP, we want to challenge him in the ring and outside of the ring. I think it would have been great to see somebody get their ass whipped uh, 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 in the ring, you know. But uh, he got off too damn fast, you know. And I know, I see why Tahuti's laughing because I understand he's a martial artist of myself, himself. So, uh, damn, I wish he could have stayed on here. I was going to bring my brother on to challenge him inside the ring and outside the ring. That would have been great. You know, but great job, man. I wish somebody stepped to the plate with Kamisha, man. Uh, Tahuti or Jabari, I think it'd be a great debate. Thanks, Saf. Have me on. Most high bless uh, yeah. Black Jesus. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Kona. Y'all got to, the people, if y'all out there running from this young, this young lion, Kamisha Nadep, he is a former champion as well. And um, I think Kamisha Nadep could bring that smoke. But yeah, really. um, we're going to have to climb up the ladder. Um, I would love to see him and Tahuti go in. You know, I would love to see that. Hey, hey commission, <laughs> hey, commission. We, my bad. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Um, hey, uh, Elder Kana, thank you, brother, for your respect. I appreciate that. I said this was a reunion because I'm actually on the um, panel panel with several people I've already debated. So you can type in um, commission versus Tahuti. That debate. Has already happened. You can type in Tuuti versus Jabari. That's already happened. Tuuti versus uh, who else was on here? Uh, Judah Nazareth. So um, yeah, Kanaf, um, I've already debated Commission. If there's another topic, that's fine. But I've already um, debated Commission in one. If you missed that, it's on the lines then. Mm, I don't keep talking about damn. lines then here. But I've already I've already had debates mm. with half the panel here. But peace and love though. Go oh, check okay, it out. okay, my bad. I, I missed that. Oh, by the way, to, uh, to who he's not going. Hey, look, so Hootie's not going to say this, but he know I made him an honorary member of FOPE. <laughs> and he still is standing. <laughs> all right, everybody, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. I got to um, I gotta bring in Tank Davis, a.k.a. Chris oh, Harris, no. real quick. Real quick, Chris. You got the floor. Hey, what's going on? Hey, good job, Jabari. Uh, way to keep that form up there today, but um, you know, you always do a great job, but I do want to question Mr. Atheist, Mr. Resident Atheist up here right quick. I want to have a quick conversation with him right quick. Is he there? He's there. He's there. Okay, my question to him is simple. Um, he's an atheist. I think we all agree with that. He's an atheist, and he believes atheism is better for black people. But we've heard him mention, try to have these debates many times on this platform, and he never shows why atheism is better for black people. So the question I'm going to be posing him to him today is simple. Are you saying that certain spiritual concepts or spirituality cannot help enhance the black community? Uh, well, to, to answer your question, and I'm going to talk how you talk. Uh, I'm going to answer your question. Well, the answer is... No, no, come no, on, man. Let's try to okay, be okay, serious. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, y'all. Okay, I'm going to be serious. The answer is no, brother. The answer to that is no, because I actually agreed when it came to Captain Tazariak, and I said that he won that debate, and I also agreed that he would win that debate based on what Christianity has done for the community. I actually agreed with that, brother. So, yeah, you're wrong on that aspect, but try again. Do you have another angle? Okay, um, family, I asked him a very simple question, and he did not answer the question. I asked him, can black people use certain spiritual concepts to help enhance their community? That's what I asked you. That was a different question. With Captain no, let me it's answer that question. question. Let me answer that question. The answer is yes, we can utilize those things. Next question. Okay, so we can you so we can utilize those things. Great. So are you saying that the belief in God is valid in the black community? 
No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that we are able to utilize whatever we can utilize to make things better for ourselves. It doesn't mean that the belief in God is better. It just means that we can utilize a host or a multiplicity of things. It doesn't mean that God is better. We can we, we can utilize uh, uh, certain things when it comes to economics. We can utilize things when it comes to morality. We can util utilize a multiplicity of things. It doesn't have to be the belief in God. Do you have another question for me? Yes, I have the same question. And once again, you're, gerryman you're gerrymandering your talking point. I asked you about spirituality. Spirituality is synonymous with believing in a God. So you're agreeing as an atheist that spirituality is a great concept for God, totally contradicting your entire stance on this platform as an atheist. Okay, let me, so let me ask question to you is, hold on, uh -huh. no, no, no. Let me, let me ask you the next question because you just got caught contradicting yourself. Chris, economics and everything that else. That was a weak I asked you about spirituality. Up. And you agreed with the concept of spirituality as an atheist. So as an atheist, spirituality, yes, you did. Everybody just heard him. Everybody on the panel, didn't he say he agreed with it? No, I didn't. Yeah. I, said that, I said that you everybody, can, use, I said you can use spirituality. I didn't say I... See, if, see this would this get them niggas in trouble. When, even when you're talking about spirituality or spiritual systems, uh, i.e. Uh, expressing something or uh, uh, honoring or uh, recognizing something uh, outside of self or higher than self. That's why you just keep it on your ancestors. It don't have to be talking about a god or a deity, nigga. I'm talking about my ancestors. I'm here. Um, specifically, the law of nature. But niggas ain't got no hands, though. Explicitly. You can't get something from nothing. So can you explain to everybody mathematically how we get something from nothing? Such as the beginning of the universe. Can you explain that? Cube, you still there? Cube, you there? Cube is ghost. <laughs> <laughs> What Ladies the? and gentlemen, Q, Q, hold on, hold on. Ladies Q, and gentlemen, where you at, man? Chris Harris, top, Chris Harris, top three, dead or alive. Hey, Davis in the building, baby. Hey, Davis in the building. Oh, man, Q, you go ahead. All right, peace. Hey, Jabari, do you want to say something before Black Jesus? He ain't speak yet. Yo, 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 oh, yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, no, yo, no, yo, he, yo. Left. he left now, Cube. He left. We got to move forward. I've been here the whole time, bro. I'm I was saying, calling yo. you, brother. Everybody bro, else was calling you. Bro, I was saying, yo, the whole effing time, bro. What's going we on, didn't... bro? Brother, it's not us. That stupid ass question that he no, just hold asked hold up, me. hold up, hold up, hold up. It, it's not us. The error was on your end. Ask everybody here. We ain't here. Was... We kept calling bro, you. Bro, I was saying. Right, oh. but he we thought you was gone. He thought you was gone. Uh, you had technical difficulties. Chris snuck him and ran. He got snuck by a white boy. He went white boy on him and snuck him and took off running. And Cube so scary, he trying to act like he don't know his way to nigga ran. Both of them sorry. Got to let Troy Mayweather close this thing out. Because, I mean, let him close out. We can keep it going. But All Black right, Jesus, you got to get uh, Brother Jabari for manhandling. Young Pharaoh, I mean, handling him soundly like the man should. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was light, though. Uh, Jabari ain't go hard on him because he knew well, I, I, I know he was well, under the yeah, influence, he, he and it looked like it. So. He did what he had to do. And uh, because it's, it's just absolutely absurd to think that, you know, the metanetter has not been deciphered. I'm not saying we know every damn thing, but how do we have so much history and so much deep information about Egypt without having the cipher. Nigga, because they made it up. They, they made it up. Stuff. Because they made so, it up. Um, you know, uh, watching this reminded me of the Pastor Bennett Chris Harris debate. <laughs> okay, I thought it was deja vu all over again. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Brother Young Pharaoh, brother, you know, God bless you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, brother? But your time has come and your time has gone. Uh oh! All of the old dinosaurs of HOK. All Here he go. Our <laughs> time has come and gone, bro. Here he go, man. Okay, it, it just it is what it is, man. We gonna have to put you brothers on the on the shelf of the uh, of all of all the pseudos. You know what I'm saying? 
HOK was pseudo in the very beginning and got everybody all excited, and got all they, you know, uh, you know, everybody all thrilled and stuff over this. Well, Black Jesus, you've been calling me for a week to reach out to Jabari. You got him here now. You can ask him now yourself. Live. Well, well, I, know, I, I don't want to rain on my brother's parade. I'm, I'm over here being positive on a positive note. I'm on Jabari's side. I was on his side before this conversation. I'm on his side now. And he came through like a damn champ. You understand what I'm saying? The champ that he is, right? All right. Came through like a damn champ. So, again, we're going to have to change Brother Pharaoh's name to Young Chris Harris. Young Chris Harris. Young <laughs> Pharaoh, your new name is Young Chris Harris. <laughs> Harris, right? hey, I'm gonna have to agree with that. You know, when you're a weenie, nigga, when you're a wankster, say you're a wankster, you ain't never pop nothing, say you're a gangster, but you never, yeah, that's Chris Harris, nigga. You, you the new Chris Harris, that fucked up. Yeah, let me say, first of all, I'm always honored to speak to the Sign Editor TV Studios family. Um, I really do think that sometimes what we have to do is just basically I had I did have some slides, right? Yeah, I didn't show, I didn't show them <laughs> because it was good, you didn't. You would have you would have killed. They would have because look, Jabari, they was already saying saw. Why are you letting Jabari take advantage of him? I think he's in here. Where he at? Oh, there you go. <laughs> here you go, right here. He was saying saw. Why are you letting Jabari take advantage of him? You know he high. That's what he was saying <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the thing is this: I, I he started by saying he was high, right? So I, I went to the just go kind of easy on him. But the yo, reality, I, I didn't even hear that Jabari. He said he was high. He said, he said high. that. He did say that. He did say <laughs> that. Yeah, I didn't say that. That means I'm high in the motherfucker, man. I haven't listened to a lot a lot of the discussions he's had around this. But before I speak to someone, I try to listen to a little. I listened to about a half hour of what he said on the Metanetter has not been deciphered. He didn't say any. It's not that he was impaired so he couldn't make his argument. This is his argument. This is his argument. And you might have noticed that he did something very slick in the beginning. But he didn't. Once I recognized and told he people, took the source to down doing, and showed you the flyer, then he should have just said, "Yeah, my my position is has been elevated. I've done more research, and this is what I'm saying." If he said that, it'd have been over. But no, what he had to do because he was being hard headed. You know that sometimes men and women sometimes we get so stuck in our position and we don't want to acknowledge that we've changed the position in public, that we follow something that doesn't make sense. And so I said, is Sound this like the, is what the you said pan Africanism to and me? He said, no, what I what I put on the fly is my position. Once he did that, he was in trouble, right? I didn't play any any recordings of him. I could have done that. I could have done that. I didn't show his slides. I had his slides because he's shown them. So I want you to know that please don't think that because he says he was under the influence that his argument is usually better. This is his argument. But the problem is, it does not meet a basic logical smell test. And the real issue is, I, I'm surprised that he was caught off guard when I asked him. He mentioned Kepra. And I, once he said that, I said, oh, it's over. Veteran so move. Veteran move. English? Really? That's an English Spirit. word? Spirit, because you man. can write it with what we called English letters. By the way, it's not even right to call those English letters. But I let him do that because I didn't want to go down a rabbit hole. Just because you can write it with English letters means that it's an English word. That's what he tried to say. The reality is this argument doesn't make sense. What he said in the very beginning is a more nuanced argument. That is accurate. It is accurate to say that because the comedic language does not transcribe some of its um, vowel sounds, we have to input vowel sounds in order to try to speak it. But let's say this. Some people would say, okay, so that means we should never try to speak it. Hebrew had a similar problem. That didn't stop people from trying to reconstruct Hebrew and utilizing it today. So I don't think that we should stop either. But I will say, if you're going to make the argument that you can't accurately always speak the comedic language, that is a nuanced argument that he could stand on. Decipher has a meaning. The word has a meaning. Words don't just get created because we like to use letters. They have meanings. 
And they have been saying for years the metanetter has not been deciphered. That is their problem. Their problem is what they said. And um, it's an easy thing to defeat just with logic. You don't need a lot of slides. I didn't even show you metanetter and say, well, how do we know that this says this? I was going to show him the judgment scene and say, what is happening here? He, I've seen him already describe what he thinks is happening. How does he know? Because people had translated it and explained it. I told y'all, Jabari studied his opponent, bro. He played, man, he, he studied him. He already had his trap set. Pharaoh wasn't prepared and got caught in the first round. That's what was so fucked up. He caught him and dropped him in the first round, and Pharaoh never recovered. He got gunshot. He was scared to let his hands go, throw punches back, scared to be counted again, wind up throwing a, a, a lazy shot. Um, and Jabari counted him over the top with the Senefa rule in, the, in um, Fort Dynasty. And, uh, you know, it really not no power shots in there, but just uh, took away his ability to think, keep up. Frustrated him, start going to the body, got him out of there. One more, one more thing, folks. You heard Sonetta saying he's coming with us to Kemet. I'm excited. Yes, I am. I'm coming. I'm coming. No, folks. Some of y'all are gonna say, "I want to go." Listen, you have until early next week to join this trip. Go to centerformaat.com. Center for Ma'at, F-O-R, Ma'at, M-A-A-T, dot com, so that you can join Sonnetter on this historic trip. Because you're going to want to be there. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. I made up my mind. Really clear. I'm going to go. And join this and do this. With that, I I'm going to do, do what Tahuti ain't do yet. Tahuti ain't been there yet. We going so I got to pick Tahuti before he get there. He said a bunch of things you did say something before Jabari go. Yes, go ahead, Apostle. Yeah, um, the, that wasn't the reason why uh, modern Jewish speaking people um, recreated the language because the vowels that that we spoke Paleo Hebrew for years even before Aramaic was spoken in Babylon. Years before we went into Babylon, we spoke the Paleo. And uh, it had basically two vowel, but they were two vowel consonants. And we spoke, the reason why is because the Greeks couldn't speak it without adding the vowels. So the Greeks, added the vowels. And then the Mesoretics, the in between the sixth century and the first century, a, a thousand years, the Mesoretic came back behind us with the Nakud or the Mesoretic tongue, adding these vowels because it wasn't their first language. Their first language was a Germanic language, which now we have a form of Hebrew mixed with Germanic language, which is called Yiddish. That's what the Mesoretic is, allowing them to speak it. But ancient Hebrews spoke the Paleo, what we call falsely Hebrew, I would say is the Abaya. We didn't have a problem speaking it. We spoke it for years. Yes, it did get lost due throughout our slavery under the Babylonians, the Persians, the Medes, the Greeks, and then the Romans. The language did get lost, just like a lot of old Sanskrit languages got lost. But they rediscovered even in America, writings of the Paleo-Hebrew. Even in the first century Palestine, they, they, they found stone tablets with Paleo-Hebrew written on them. Even they found ossuaries 
with the Paleo Hebrew written on it. So that wasn't the reason why the Mectus Lectionis, the Nikud, or the Masoretic was created. Okay, because you can go through the Paleo with the original, uh, which you will refer to as the characters, the symbols, and and go from Ah to Ta, reciting every all the 22 letters without a problem. They're there right before you. And even to the ancient that came 800 years later, uh, the first alphabet, it didn't change. The ah and the ion was still the two vowel consonants that we use. All right. Of fact, I'm going to end it with this. As a matter of fact, you can check it with the Filipino people, those that speak Tagala today. The only difference in that alphabet is they got 28 letters, but it's the same sound as the paleo, and it's being spoke right now today in the Philippines. All right, Jabari. And Kamisha knows what I'm talking about. Jabaro, do you hear me, Jabari? Yeah, if I need uh -oh. to share my screen, I can do. I just hope I didn't have to. Jabari, you froze, froze on me. Jabari, you hear me? Oh, he's frozen. Yeah, yeah he froze. Because I can pull up the same Hebrew alphabet. Let me kick him out. He'll hear me when I kick his butt out. Then he'll come back in. Yes has pulled up on several accounts. Okay. Um, let's get Philip in here. Let's get Philip. Hey, peace and blessing to everybody. <clears throat> peace, peace, Philip. Black African power, I say, Amandla, everything else. Um, you know, on the issue of whether or not the uh, Medunetia has been deciphered, right? I consider myself to be non uh, kemetic if you will, but would like to learn a thing or two at least about the kemetic system, religion, culture, and so on. And I've been given what is called uh, the Meduneta or ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic alphabet. Is this trash? I even tried to, to write my name using the symbols. <clears throat> mm. So if this is not being deciphered, I'm trying to find out, is this trash or I take this and throw it in the garbage? Because this is supposed to be an alphabet. Well, that's a good question for Tahuti. Yeah. Tahuti froze up? Oh. Did you hear him, Tahuti? Can you try to write your name? Say it one more time. It was very, very choppy. Say it again, please, Philip. Oh, no, I was asking the question if the Medunenta has not been deciphered. I am a non kemetic person, but I would still like to learn a thing or two. So I've been given an alphabet, and you know, by brother, uh, brother Reggie graciously gave this to me the ancient, the Medunenta or ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic alphabet. So if this thing has not been deciphered, is this then considered to be trash? Should I take this and throw it away, or could I still use it? No, still use it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, um, can you hear me, Brother Philip? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit of what I was going to show um, to answer that uh, that question. Um, Son, can I do a quick screen share? I'll go ahead and just show a little bit yes. of something, please. Okay, let me, um, let me do this. I was actually waiting to see if Pharaoh would be honorable enough to come back on, but I guess he's uh, gone for good. Yeah, Farrell, Farrell left. Can you all see the screen? Um, yep. All right, my bad, y'all. I had to run in the spot. Oh. You see, you see, um, looks like ears on the screen. <laughs> That's you playing the music in the background, Sahodi? 
No, that's a yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like an ice cream truck down the street. <laughs> you hear like a, oh. like a circus music. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, well, I'll put. I'm in California. It's still three p.m. out there. It's three p.m. You man. What you got? Your windows open? That seems loud, man. It's not even really an ice cream truck. I think they're selling something else. But anyways, um, everybody, everybody can see the screen. Yeah. Okay, good. Get you some thicker uh, walls, man. <laughs> no, they're literally right. If I pull my hand out, I can land on top of the truck. Okay, um, Philip, you see the screen? You see the ears on the screen? Yes, sir, brother. We see the ears yes. on the screen. I okay, guess good. You're tell so us what do you that see that right here? You see it what looks like ears. You see all these images, and and um, this is what I was actually going to present. So um, to find out if the metunetter, as they're calling it, which are these glyphs here, if they've been translated or if they've been deciphered. Um, you have to remember the never. They, they say the meta netter has never been understood. If it's never been understood, then the translation would actually be incoherent. It would be discombobulated, and it would be nonsensical. So, you would look at this picture, and they, if there was no translation to any of these symbols here, everybody would have something different from what it says, and it actually wouldn't match any type of uh, theme. So what I, I did was this. Um, I put this as a, a nebit seven uh, ni nebit pet. And it's female sustainer razor who, who hears incantations, female sustainer razor of the origins of the sky. And what I did is I actually showed each symbol, each ancient symbol here, and what it would translate to to actually make sense. So this is the, if you see my mouse right over here, this is the uh, Nebet symbol here. This is the Nebet symbol, which means uh, female or sustainer, Nebet with the T at the end, which makes it feminine. And then you have the Hetep symbol here, which means to come, arrive, or to be in a state of peace, and then you have Neset, which is the cobra symbol, the female raising. You're not showing vibration. the symbol. You're not All showing it. There you go. And then you have Seven, which is <laughs> ear, and then you have Ne, right over here. Ne, which is uttering incantation, is actually the root word of the word Nehesi, which is the original name of the uh, what they're calling Ethiopians. So it's Ne from the, uh, the root word of Nehesi, means to utter incantations or prayer. That was the original name of um, Hetheru in the Sudan area or in the Tainetra area was called Nehesit. So, so Het Heru Aset had the actual same name um, as this word here, as the, as the Nehesi, because she was a Nehesi the deity. So Nebit, and then this pet symbol here, which means uh, to break water of the symbol of. So when you take that that the so-called what they're calling a horse man the, from the Valley of the Kings, this is in the uh, Paris Levere Museum. Um, picture taken on April uh, tw uh, 22nd from the National Museum's Ramesses period. And do they actually um, do they actually match? Do they do they match? And they they absolutely do. So um, people who say the meta netter has not been sustained, has not been uh, deciphered, of course has been deciphered. And the translation actually matches what's on the uh, what's on the story. The female um, sustainer. Who is who does incantations? Um, who is the boy? Hey, what a boy comedic it. Comedic, I thought you was goddamn me comedic. You were just sitting there doing all that talking, man. What's up, goddamn, bro? Go on, step in there. The nigga that told everybody he beat you up already, so nah, man, you gotta go on, get in there with him on that. Mindset that the minute has not been translated, then you obviously you have no, um, nothing to study, there's no story. Uh, there's no Heru story. There's no, you can't learn anything about a pharaoh. Um, so this here is Nebet Hetep Sat Usur Ari, which is a female sustainer consciously creating by moving um, echo in peace. So these are actually translatable um, words, each one of these here. When you look at this symbol right here, Philip, everybody on this panel knows this is Mat. Does the translation actually translate to something to do with Mat? And it absolutely does. The translation that I did here word for word is, is, uh, Says Ma'at, the Netzer, the daughter of Ra, woman of the law. Uh, Heruta, U, of, which is Ma'at, daughter of Ra, a lady of law, examination, because Ma'at, where the word Ma'at means examination of the land of silence, of what they call the necropolis. A word said by Ma'at, daughter of Ra. So you see that the translation actually makes sense and it actually matches what you see in the imagery. So if you see a picture of a farmer on a field and you read the translation, the translation is going to talk about the farmer of the field that's going to match. So I just wanted to show that um, really quick right there. Let me come off the screen share. Let me come off of here. Um, 
I just wanted to show that. So, Philip, anybody, let me come back to the screen and see if I can see you all. So, anybody that's telling you that the metanetter has not been deciphered, translatable, um, I think what they should say is that there's multiple meanings that actually one sentence could be multiple sentences because of the abstract symbolism and understanding of the symbols within the Meru Netter um, language. So you can get a sentence and you can see something and get another understanding of the same concept. Hey, who's that? Oh, hey, God, it's Sister Freedom. Um, so to say Boy, that anybody who says the Meru Netter has not been... Say, bro, these teachers be so bored and they'll put you to sleep, man. They will put you to sleep, and this is what I'm saying about this old day, this old way. You understand me, man? A lot of people been holding up the game. You know, I, it, as far as Dr. Ben and Shaking Diab and all these other guys that they came before, you know, I, you know, at least, you know, at least they can fight. You know what I'm saying? It was willing to fight like these people, you know. They're coming here and they're, you know, saying they're standing on the backs of these. Some of them are even branching out with their own ideas. The brother Commission that's sitting there, the brother's name is Commission, but he's a he's a pharaoh. I mean, but he's a he's a moor. The brother is a moor, and so uh, so he a moor, he a Kim, he a Kimite, he a Hebrew. He a, I hear a lot of these things wrapped in one. Oh, so, and, and, you know, these are people that are, you know, people are saying these are the top fighters or the elite fighters in the game right now. And, I mean, these brothers will put you to sleep. Say thank you for asking the question. And I, peace and love. That sense. That sense. Oh, Jabari? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Hold up, hold up. Just the freedom want to go real quick, Jabari, then you. Go ahead. Okay, because she ain't going to be long like y'all. Y'all brothers, long yes. ones. Good evening, everybody. I just want to ask one question. I know everybody's going to be pissed at me. That's okay. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I actually believe, I, I, I actually uh -oh. agree with Commission, and I actually agree with Pharaoh, and I definitely agree with Dr. Bartholomew. Williams. But you smart guys, on tell me what that means. What that mean? You to Hootie, what it mean? Decipher it. You and Come on. Jabari. <laughs> I'd like to. I would like to actually comment on that. Put me on the screen, please. No, I mean just, just say it. What it mean? Okay, I'd like to actually, if you can put me on the screen. I'd like to actually I'd comment like, on what. Yeah, I'd like to say something. And then Jabari. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, what I was what I was actually going to do prior to this was I was going to actually say the level of Meru Netter that each person on this panel knows is actually completely irrelevant to the topic of whether it's been deciphered. Does that script that's on that paper look anything like what I study? Um, it, it does not. Whether I know 400 words in Metanetter, whether I know 8,000 words in Metanetter, whether I know two words in Metanetter, the topic is, has the Metanetter been deciphered? Whether Tahuti or Jabari was born or not, whether Jabari knows five words or Tahuti knows eight million words, has the Meru Netter been deciphered? Is there anybody teaching about ancient Egypt that does not talk about the stories? If they talk about the stories, somebody deciphered it into English in order for you to know the stories. Whether I can know what that, it looks like some type of scribble. I don't know what that is, but whether I can I read whatever. Know. So when whether, you get whether, done, I'll explain whether, why whether, I did. Yeah, whether I can read what's on that paper or not, um, is irrelevant to the Absolutely. world, it's, it's world worldwide, worldwide acknowledgement that everybody. Now, brother, because y'all had a lot of confidence about it being deciphered. So now you want to come back and say, well, I know one or two things about it. I'm not an expert in it. You know, now to this talk, but Jabari has stated to Pharaoh that he's a teacher, he's a scholar, he's been there and all of these things. So now what we're seeing you do is what uh, Pharaoh did, back paddled off the original argument that you had started with. Now you're saying that you haven't fully deciphered it or you're not this expert guy that you were trying to make us out to believe. 
you just pulled up something and you bro and you allegedly broke it down in front of us. So now when we present you with something, unless you're following doctrine and somebody gave you the answer to something, okay, because that's what it means. What you say you're not an expert in it. Well, then is the information that you presented is that your information or is that something that someone else brought forward? Because maybe you don't qualify to have a conversation. Maybe, maybe just maybe we need an expert in here. Because judging from the audience, I thought you brothers were experts the way y'all were just standing up here talking. Well, we were still able, people were still able to translate it. So because it was saying the same thing in three different scripts in two different languages, what they were able to do is then um, cross-reference what their what those meanings were. And so then they could say, well, we have the, the sound, or at least we have the 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 um the letter, I'm gonna use letter, glyph for this sound, and we know what the word means. The other thing that they were able to do is hear people who were speaking some of the later versions. So Coptic is not exactly the same as Middle Egyptian or Old Egyptian but it is the last version of the language. So there are some similarities. They were able to listen to people in the Coptic Christian church speak Coptic. The other thing that they were able to do, which we cannot do from the page that you just showed us, is that there are literally tens of millions of places for us to read this language. So instead of looking at one page with scribbles, imagine now if you had 10 million pages with scribbles, and those scribbles actually meant something in those places. Now you have enough information that you can cross-reference and say, if we think this means this here, now let's go and see if our analysis is correct over here or over here or over here. This is what happened. And I wanna be clear about something. While we often say that Jean-Francois Champollion and Thomas Young were actually able to translate the language, the reality is that they were just at the beginning of retranslating mm -hmm. the language. There have been decades, in fact, over a hundred years of study now. And so what, what Champollion would translate is not the same as what someone would translate today because now we know even more, we have more data, more information. And so that is what has occurred. That is what has occurred. And by the way, Tahuti, the slides that you were going to show is similar to what I was going to do, but I didn't need to. I didn't need to. I was going to say, yeah. you have to understand that if we have the wrong impression, then when we go to another scene and we see the same thing, we can say, well, then this wouldn't make sense, but it does make sense. And we can do that millions, I didn't say thousands, millions of times. And so eventually you get to a point where you have a pretty good translation. Are we, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. There are still holes and gaps. But to say that the language has not been deciphered is just simply wrong, especially using the word deciphered. It's just simply wrong. And so they didn't just look at a language they didn't understand. They were able to cross race reference it because the same thing was written in a language that they did understand. So that was the key that allowed them to do this. And then on top of that, they had a, a late version of the language so they could listen a little bit. So for example, in the Coptic church, they don't use the word God as many Christian churches do. They say noter for the word for deity. And so that's one of the ways that they were able to just with translating the language. It was a lengthy process. But that's what happened. And finally, let me say, oh, the yeah. early Hebrew language does not transcribe all of its vowels. That's the comment I was making. And so while there are people who are able to translate the earliest forms of Hebrew, the challenge is still with vocalizing some of those words. That's the same challenge we have with the Kemetic language. It's similar. Why? Because the Kemetic language is one of the earliest languages in that area and influenced the other ones in that area as well. Thank you. And now I'm, I'm going to, I almost forgot what I was about to say. I'm sorry, Jabari. But the reason why I did that was because, well, I'll wait till Sanetica finish showing his beautiful. Yeah, yeah. 
the reason why I was saying that <laughs> is because everything that you're saying sounds like a theory. That someone you said they're still working on it. They think it might fit. They think this. You're if if somebody at that time didn't tell you what that meant, rather it was really see you got different pieces that's on the that's on a wall that could maybe even mean sounds. You don't know what it was explaining. You don't know what it was trying to explain. To say that you deciphered something, it seems like some, some ghost came back and told you, oh, this is what we were saying. No, that's not what it is. If I don't tell you what this means, you will never know. In thousands of years, you could say, you know what? I think it looks like worms or snakes crawling through something. Okay, it, it might be that, so we'll make it this. You don't know what it's saying unless the people from that time came and told you what it's meaning, as far as I'm concerned. Now, the stories are nice and cute, but what I'm saying is they just like the Bible, just like um, Farrell was saying, that is exactly what I see from it. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm sorry if I'm incorrect. I'm incorrect. I don't have to be right about everything. Yeah. But Jabari and Tahuti, and I'm sorry, Brother Reggie, I know you great. Get on me. But I just don't agree. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, just because the, you know, if, if a, a, a picture of a bird is there, you don't know if they were saying, oh, buh, for maybe we're going to go with buh, bird, because now that's what we use. It could be that they're saying quack. You don't know what the what it meant. You making up stuff as you go along. <laughs> you know you're just making it as you go along. That's making why it is. Up. Y'all can say it's scribble. You can say whatever you want, but you don't know what it means unless I tell you. Everything all, made up. all words was made up, and all words was given meaning as they was making up. What you said, Kepper meant. When I looked it up, it didn't mean what you said it meant, Jabari. I didn't say what Kepper meant. He you said, said what it meant. You said you said they didn't use the word beetle. They used the word Kepper. So instead, you said they didn't use the word beetle for that particular insect. They used kepper. Now, you can go back and listen to it. That's what you said. So that doesn't mean kepper is not a beetle? That, you said you looked it up. No, listen. It's, it says something else about rising sun or some old what? God, a god or something. I can look it back up. But it didn't give the, <laughs> it didn't give the definition you gave. That's what I'm saying. It didn't give the definition you gave. That's all I'm saying. To you, Jabari. Uh, I ain't saying I'm right about everything, but I am saying I don't have she's crazy. Crazy. She's she's little attitude. Attitude. I'm the person, the only person she's left that's, that's on, on this show, right? <laughs> Other folks are on a panel. So what what I what I want to say to you, Queen, is that um no this is the part that I don't think that you're you're hearing, and and I'm not sure why. I, you. I, I said but, but wait, listen, but listen, listen. I, I tried to explain what the importance of the Rosetta Stone was. So what happened is there were, th listen, because it's like you're not hearing what I said. Listen to what I said. When they found the Rosetta Stone, it was the same passage written three times in two different scripts. And I'm sorry, it was in three different scripts, but in two different languages. They could read one of the languages. So that if we were able to look at your scribbles and then say, oh, this is what those scribbles mean in English, now we would have a better way to understand those scribbles. That is what happened. But the language was not English, it was demotic Greek. But so the Rosetta Stone okay. is what helped us unlock an understanding, a redecipherment of the language. That's what happened. It's not just that someone said, this looks like this. What I was saying, you are the last part of what I said. Now what people did is they were able to go into places, look at papri, look at tombs, look at temples, and say, if our translation is correct, does it make sense here? So that's the way that they're able to back check and see if their translation is correct. That's the process. It's not just that they thought, well, there's a farmer here, because I think you're only taking part of what Tehudi said. That's only part of it. There's a farmer here, so this word must be farmer. That's not what happened. They had a language they could translate. So if you had a key to those letters, we would then be able to say, well, do we have enough information to read other things that have the same scribbles? 
that's what happened. Okay, Jabari, I'm going to say it again. Hold on, hold on real quick, real quick. I got a caller that's at work and he can't stay on too long. And then you can go ahead. I want to get Reggie in here. Caller, you got the call. You got the phone. Hey, Sister Freedom, how you doing? It's me, Chris. How you doing, Chris? I'm wonderful. Hey, real quick, I want to um see if you're being a bit dis disingenuous here because I couldn't understand what you put up there. Which script was that and from what period was that was that script taken from? What what do you did what did you start off saying? What'd you say? I was being what? Um I said I wanted to make sure that you were being made it up. I made it up. And I want to know if you made it up. Yeah, I just scribbled something on the paper and I asked what it meant. Now I, I, can, I can give it a meaning. I can give it a meaning because okay. I scribbled it. Ah, uh, they got Reggie in the building. I can give it a meaning. Uh, I don't think that's in the building. Hold on, Sister Freedom. Sister Freedom, with all due respect, you don't mm -hmm. think that's a bit disingenuous uh, um, to do what you just did? No. I was trying to make okay. a point. And by the way, um, okay, yeah. you're trying to make a point. Wonderful. Yeah, but Doctor Doctor Walter Williams, in his book Christianity, um, Christianity, in, in his book on Christianity, he does mention the names of Peru and Osset. He does mention those names in those texts. Okay. I wanted to let you know that. Okay, I'll go back and look. I just want to let you know. He also mentioned I have Jesus. no problem in saying that if I'm wrong about something, I don't have no problem in coming back and correcting myself. But I'm still going to say what I'm okay. saying. It's not going to change that. Oh no, I'm. I can't change. I can't change your mind. I'm not trying to do that. I, just want to make sure. I didn't know. I didn't know that you just made it up. I didn't know you. Made hey, is that white boy Chris again? Made it up. I didn't hear that part. Since have okay. you ever seen the Rosetta Stone? No. Yeah. Let me show it to you. Yeah, Let yeah. me show it to you. Let me show it to you because I. I'm not. But sure it's not. It's not going to change. Yeah, it could change. Don't say that before you see it. If you do that, <laughs> how can you? How, I mean, come on. This is the Rosetta Stone, right? I was almost going to be a little funny and show you. Can you blow it up, Jabari, a little bit? I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to. So can you see that there are like yeah, three sections it. here? I've right over that, when you look at it from afar, you can see there are three sections, right? Can mm -hmm. you see that, Sister Freedom? Mm -hmm. Okay. When you zoom in, what you're able to see here, can you see that that's one form of the comedic language? You probably recognize it at least, right? Yeah. When you come down here, this is another script of the comedic language. It's saying the same thing. It's just written and now in um, hieratic. I'm sorry, hieratic and demonic here. This is demo the comedic language in demonic. And then when you go further down, look at this here. This is in Greek. They can still read demonic Greek. So because it says the same thing in three different ways, if you can read this, and this says the same thing. And this says the same thing. Oops. Oops, wait. And this says the same thing up here. Then what you're able to do is cross-reference. And if you look closely, can you see that's a lot of writing? Yeah. That's a lot yeah. of writing. It isn't just a word or two. So they were able to cross-reference this that they could read with this and with this. This is what allowed them to be able to have the key to understand the language. So it isn't just scribbles and they said, we think it should mean this. They were able to translate it with the language that they could still read. That is what happened. All right, let me bring on brother Reggie, Dr. Reggie. Reggie, go ahead real quick. And then I'm gonna bring Freedom back. Let me go back behind Reggie, if you will, brother. Yeah, yeah, brother and, and and so I'd like to respond to that. that, that uh, Okay, so I, I just the last guy that. that you post up on the screen, man. Why is he talking? I'm next. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking? I don't understand. So real quick, I'm just gonna share my screen. I, I don't, I don't get this right. Hey, peace, Donetta. Uh, peace, 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 brother Reggie. Peace, peace, peace Reggie. Everybody. Hi, brother so, Reggie. Peace, peace Sister Freedom. Reggie. How you doing? Um, so I put something. Uh, peace, on, Reggie. I'm, peace I'm Reggie. To Hey, I'm not perfect. Okay. While I'm trying to put it up from the source, uh, when it comes to decipherment, there are four types, right? Can you hear me? I'm frozen. Can yes, you hear we hear you. We hear you. Yeah, I'm, my, my screen is frozen, frozen here too, Reggie. I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to stop my cam for, for oh, extra wait, you're back again. You're back again. Okay, I'm going to stop my cam for 
uh, extra bandwidth. All right, so there's four types of, of possibilities to decipher. One is type zero, when you have a known writing and a known language, right? Meaning you have uh, two different writings that are known, right? Okay. Type one is an unknown writing and a known language. Okay, that's what you can say is uh, um, uh, there's a case for that. Type two is a known writing and an unknown language. Type three is an unknown writing and an unknown language. Type type three is the hardest that you can actually uh, um, decipher. Uh, but if you have a known writing or a known language and an unknown language and an unknown writing, right, you can decipher it. So put this up. Um, um, so Sanetti is sharing it, right? So here's the, the four types. So the four types is, is what I said, a known writing and a known language, an unknown writing and a known language. So on a Rosetta uh, Stone, you have a unknown writing and a known language, or you can have a known writing, right? And an unknown language. In the case of the Rosetta Stone, that's not the case because on the Rosetta Stone, you have the cases writing. So you have uh, uh, writing and a language. So since we know Greek and there's an unknown writing, unknown writing, then we can match. The other issue is, uh, I talked to someone like uh, Sister Freedom, so you can stop sharing my screen, I think. No, no, keep it up, keep it up. Sister Freedom, are you there? Sister yes, Freedom, are you there? Yes, Dr. Reggie, I'm here. Okay, Brother Reggie is fine. Okay, okay. that's fine. Okay, how many languages or writing systems have been deciphered? Do you oh. know? Well... Huh? It's, it's probably a lot it, it, because if we speak English and I guess when you say decipher, I guess you have to express to me what you mean when you say decipher because I wouldn't know exactly how you're saying it. Like if I don't, I would have to decipher um, Spanish because I can't speak Spanish. I no, mean, that's translating. That mean? Oh, translate. Okay. okay, decipher. I don't know how many languages. Okay, so, so a lot of people confusing translating and decipherment, and I got that, right? Decipherment is a discovery of the meaning of text written in ancient and obscure languages or scripts. That's what decipherment is. I got you, right? like, like the Bible. Okay, I got you. Okay. Like the Bible when it's being deciphered, okay? All right. That's the same thing so with that is the definition of decipherment, is the discovery of the meaning of text so we find a text and we don't know the meaning of the, what is written, right? Because of, it's obscure, right? And it's, and it's unknown. So then you go back to my chart. So my chart says, okay, how do we do it? Is with it a known language or a known writing? Then if it is, then what we could do is we could begin to match. And so the, the process of decipherment began with that process. And so when we look at something like the, the, um, the Xerxes vase, so I'm gonna show this. Okay, so here's the Xerxes vase. And um, anybody who's disagreeing with me, JJ, I don't know why you're disagreeing with me with the day, because the first thing is, you're gonna have to match your education with my education. You're gonna have to match your skill set with my skill set. Now, now, um, we can chit chat with what we do on Sarnetta, or we can cite things, right? Or we can write. So anybody who wants to match themselves with me, you better be able to write. Hopefully you have some articles and some publications that you wrote, right? And hopefully you have an education, right? Maybe a degree or two. Otherwise, stop with the, 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 uh, the, 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 how can I say, uh, the circus, stop it. Now, when we look at this, when we look at this, the Xerxes vase, we actually have a script right here that is that was deciphered. 
this script, this what it says, it says uh, they can't say the word like we say Xerxes with an X. So they break it up and then um, they break it up. So this is cur, er, right? X. And, it's, and then it's a I. Cur, I. And so that becomes the Greek Xerxes. Underneath here it says per a, right, which is Pharaoh, and over here it says pa a, the great. Now what happened was you have three other scripts right here from different languages, and when the meta nature was deciphered, it allowed us to uh, decipher some other scripts, which was I think Babylonian and some Akkadian scripts. We live in a world of science. Science has rules based on facts, based on things that repeat. Why are we acting like we're in the pre-stone age without tools? Why, why are we doing it to ourselves in public, Black people? Black people, people of color, why are we acting like we do not have tools? Why are we acting like we can't learn? So what? that means the Asians, the Russians, the Chinese, the, the white Americans, all of those people are going to always be ahead of us because we're stuck in our beliefs. No, because of Pan-Africanism. Because huh? people have been stuck in Pan-Africanism. Uh -huh. Family was quelling what they call a rebellion. So they saying the native Egyptians were rebelling. And so this is what this decree was. Anybody going to side with Ptolemy, get with him. Anybody else don't want to deal with him, he going to be killed. That's what the Rosetta Stone is about. Again, that Rosetta Stone was not created by the ancient Egyptian. It was created during the Ptolemaic period. They remixed many of our temples. They remixed uh, they took the whole ceiling <clears throat> out up there, and the original Temple of Dendera is not even original. They went over certain things. So when you understand that, you will take the whole Rosetta Stone, throw it away. Now, no. there is no hieratic on no Rosetta Stone, family. Now, let me show you what I'm saying so people get what we're talking about. There is no hieratic. It's demotic, Coptic. They call it Greek, but it ain't no... It ain't no uh, so-called uh, Greek. It's actually Coptic. Now, this is hieratic right here, family. I want to blow this up and make... Now, hieratic look close to these cursive hieroglyphs, don't they? But they are not the same. <clears throat> this, these two oh, here are the same. You see, one is cursive and one is alphabet. You're not oh, sharing it, brother. You're not sharing it. Yeah. Yeah. He is sharing it. Hold on. You okay, got to put it up me, there. Let me, reset. Let, let, let me let me open it up. I thought I hit, hit share. Okay, I see what I did. I hit entire screen, but I didn't go all the way. Oh, you was capping. So here it go right here. So basically, right, this is how radic right here, which I showed y'all earlier. <laughs> Anybody on this panel right here, can you read anything up here? If you can, come forth. And one of y'all. You can't read it neither. I, I can. I guarantee I can. I guarantee you can. Can you identify one letter in here? Why oh, you start trouble? <laughs> one letter. Hold on. I want to see you do it. Yeah, I see life. One... Yeah, I can see it. No, I, 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 I want to let them go. Let them build. No, I can identify let them build. the letter. Can I identify the letter? Can you identify oh, yes. let the brother build, man. Yes, line five. Line five. You see the symbol for life right there. I see it. Now what? What symbol now what? for life? Line five, bro. You talking, about, go. you talking about this right here? Nope. You talking about this indicator? Yeah. Now, okay. Am what I right or wrong? Saying, I'm just saying, listen, am I right or wrong? Listen, listen. What is it saying? Uh, am I right or wrong? It's life. The word I is didn't life. I tell you to identify indicator. And they appointed to the unk, and they say the unk means life. I ask oh, man, I'm done. Go ahead. I'm quick. what's being said. Here. You have to Stop, quit, Can you bro. identify? That's not, that's not an alphabet, bro. That's it's an the indicator. For life, it is. See, that's how I know you don't yeah, know so what you don't know, huh? This is a P I just, right what you here. Mean? I just said so, it. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something. This is a P right here. This is a S right here, right? This, <laughs> this, listen. This is a H. This is a H. You see? And I can go through this whole thing and show you, but I know you can't do that because you don't study this. This hasn't been taught. 
So now, and I'm gonna show you. Nigga saying, don't nobody know this but him. <laughs> on real metal now. How? You, you know, said it wasn't this, deciphered. This, I'm gonna show you something. All right. Not the way you're talking about. It. Okay. And stop cutting into my bill. You're right. Signs and symbols are for conscious mind and men and women of understanding. These are metaphysical symbols. To say that these things have been deciphered, you have to find an ancient alphabetical chart that existed prior to this one that Champollion created. This one right here. Right here. Let me show it to you so y'all know exactly what we're talking about. Champollion created this alphabet chart. And I'm going to show it to you again. Let me blow it up a little bit to make sure. This is Champollion's. You see that? Alphabet of Champollion. Not ancient Egyptian. This is when he was trying to figure out what he was going to apply as a letter A, a letter B, a letter. You see, he was doing this. This is when he created it. Now, let me show you this right here. I'm going to show it to you with more clarity. Like I told you. Okay, because I was going to say you're going to have to put something behind it, bro. If you're just going to do that, that's a pop shot. Bring something over the top or underneath, slip if you got to. And if a two or three there. Um, or five or six, you can split the guard. Or uh, yeah, you can't just throw a pop shot. But he said he gonna bring clarity, so I'm looking for a five, or I'm looking for a two or a three. I mean, a, a three or four. Earlier, when he when he created these so called charts, family, he was guessing. You see that? That's that chart again. But he has demotic on the side of Coptic. He didn't have ancient Egyptian when he created this chart. So, yes, this is on the Rosetta Stone, but that Rosetta Stone came forth during the Greco Roman period. So, you can't say that that chart would decipher what existed hundreds of years and thousands of years before that. Okay. This is their good. version of it. See, this is what y'all got to understand. We ain't denying they created their own version. I'm saying that ain't what the ancestors say. Now, let me show you my decipherment real quick. I'm going to show you right now. This is from my lexicon. First, I'm going to show you this. This is commission right here. How did you get the words commission? Because just like if somebody was right here and he, he was a uh, Latino and I didn't know nothing about Spanish. And I went to him and I say, brother, how do you say dog in Spanish? And so he tell me how I say dog in Spanish, right? Or how do you say God in Spanish? So I take what he told me in his word, and then I come forth and I create a dictionary based upon that. I learned this from somebody that was supposed to be Coptic, right? So you can't get a credit to Champollion because Champollion took these terms in demotic that he had from people that was native Egyptian. He didn't. Reggie shaking his head. Didn't create that stuff. Same thing with E. Wallace Budge. When he created his dictionary, he tell you he got it from the dermatologist family. So that's how you sound that out. This is hieratic right here. Hieratic was the original uh, papyri, and it was transcribed into these symbols. I did this to show you what they did. This is my breakdown without no alphabet. Straight off the dome, I freestyled this. <laughs> we know. Yeah, don't, say, don't tell nobody that. Whoa, nigga, don't, nigga went Ali Muhammad on us. Nah, don't tell them about it. No. Now check this out. We know second Aru represent the fields of peace, right? Um, we, know so Aminu, <laughs> we know Aminu is Amin in harmony and wisdom. Ma, wisdom. Heru, I, Heru M. Aket, right? This is in his heart is sovereignty and power. These are all my breakdowns. Tehudi, divine mind, Nebu, he is Lord. So the actual transliteration of this in the fields of peace is Amen in harmony and wisdom. In his heart is sovereignty and power of the divine mind. He is Lord Tehudi. I didn't need no alphabet to do that. Just like right here, same thing. I didn't need an alphabet to do this. I'm talking about that they talking about, Champollion's alphabet. I didn't need that. I did it straight off the dome based on the knowledge I have coming from that. Now, in closing, this is what I want to say. This is the alphabet that is called Paleo-Hebrew. Huh? 
This was, yes, sir. This is called Paleo Hebrew right here. <laughs> and I put it on the side of actual tablets so you can see where they got it. From. Wow. This is what they was, you were talking about it earlier, talking about it was the letter A. You banking out now? So now this is the letter A. I live, <laughs> right? This is B. I'm showing y'all this for a reason now. This is said to be, they would say it's a house, right? Right. Uh, it I is know. a building, it's right? Or a floor plan, it's right? Correct. Right. It's correct. I gave you the exact uh, measure that is coming from here. This is another version of it. Right. But this is Paleo Hebrew. They y'all. created Hebrew. their okay. own alphabet off of symbols. But you right. can't use this alphabet and read the hieroglyphics with that alphabet, just like the Meroitic script is their own script as well. Right. Both of them took and created an alphabet. That was not the original way of the ancient Egyptians. These pictures represent metaphysics to the ancestors. All right, park your car, park your car. One, one, I'm, Crash this car. I'm landing my plane. I listened Jeez. to them four or five times. Let me hey, make it. They don't give you the right to just go on and on. Your voice will put you people to sleep, brother. Y'all have no personality. For the people that's looking, I was patient, brother. Give me the give go me ahead, the go ahead, brother. So I'm saying that these symbols are metaphysics. They are not meant to be understood the way that they are being taught. That's Champollion's alphabet. Show me an alphabet chart from the ancestors. If you oh, cannot show me that, that's my hey, that's my point on it too. So that's a good ending. Then you just basically dealing with a bunch of conjecture. And and this is my closure right here. This is Pap. This is original source material. I don't care what them Europeans said. I got a whole bunch of this, hundreds and hundreds of it. Can you tell me what paper this is? Can anybody on here tell me since y'all know metal netter? Because this is called metal rate and commit the language of the oh. this is the language of the Egyptian metal rate and commit. Demotic is called second insha. That's the proper name. Coptic is called hicopter. You see? Okay. <laughs> So I stopped right there, and I can. And anybody want to debate this? Come on here, because I'm, I'm, I'm showing. Like the video, thumb up the video. Plenty won't be two minutes. This seven eight slide with five hundred yeah. something odd minutes, minutes into it now. Now I'm being. Come on, Saul. So wait, yeah, son, it's it's right ten minutes, Don. Are you making the? Now you doing? You doing too bad. much now? He doing the it's same flat earth shit. Come on, bro. Yeah, I'm mean, hey, um, hey, yo, yo, Reggie. Reggie, whose show is this? Yours is mine. Show is <laughs> Why when I say something, Reggie, like Reggie, 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 I just asked you a question, brother. Who so chose when this? I say something, Reggie, Reggie, oh, Reggie, I'm, I'm not mad at you, brother. I'm not mad at you. You be different than Reggie, everybody else. Because you, you the white boy on the panel. You treat me different because you, 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 you're the white. The white boy on the panel right now. Chris not here right now. Good. Man, well, that's you, man, Reggie. Calm down, calm down. Reggie. Hey, All right. Thank you, Reggie. Let's answer. Go. Reggie, Let's answer. Go. All right. All right. Oh, uh, whose show yes. is this? Mine's or yours, brother? This is your show. It's your show. Thank Absolutely. you. Run the way you want to run. Whose show is this, man? Mine's or yours, brother? It's that uh some dude named Frankie. I don't know. <laughs> Frankie guy. I want to give I want to give all my people who show me love and support the same time. And commission is featured here on the HOK a lot, you know. And he holds it down while you at work, Jabari. He holds it down <laughs> when you at work, brother. Oh, he comes in and holds it down. So I'm gonna I'm not- I- look at Reggie. <laughs> Show my brother love. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to challenge commission on something, though. No, All right, Jabari, don't do it. You last, Jabari. Jabari. All right, get it, Jabari. Get it, Jabari. And, and then I got to bring on. I got to bring on Zaquan, man. Come on. And it's not that I disagree with everything he said. Yeah. I'm what? just saying there are some challenges with some of what he said. Really? Do? For example, according to no, relax, you, brother. According to the way that you translated that sentence. What does this say? <laughs> Go ahead, son editor. What does it say? I'm gonna get, get a metaphysics that. behind. 
He can't read that. I'm I'm you, trans- you translate it. I'm, so I'm translate going to give you the metaphysics behind it. I don't the translate it. Can, can I translate it? You got to you know, I want everybody to be quiet, man. Jabari's talking, y'all. Reggie can translate this if it was on a bus going by and glance at it. Let him do it, Jabari. He said, let him do it. Let him go. Oh, go ahead. Now, I just told you these are not alphabets to me. I told you they are metaphysics to me. So, what so if saying? I were to give you my metaphysical interpretation of this, we know this reed leaf right here represents second Aru, the heavens. You see? And in regards to dealing with the reed leaf in the heavens, I would see a multiplicity of divinity here in reference to dealing with this, what y'all like to call a watermark. You see? Y'all would call this an alphabet. I see that as the heavens divine spirituality, sovereignty, and power, and the sun of divinity rising from the incense of one's essence. And this represents one being enthroned, so to speak, as a result of all of that divinity and divine power. Could That's we, how I would uh, interpret it. You got it right. You think this is a cartouche, though. say you got it right. You don't you even know what it's that. You call right. it a cartouche, though. I don't but call, I don't it, call it that. I don't Some people the- would. Some people yes. would. All right, all right, Commission. Reggie. Let Jabari go on. Go ahead, Jabari. Reggie, can you just quickly tell us what this says, Reggie? It is the Sanu of that African woman who lived, Hatchesef. It says, mm-hmm. Amen, without all of that other stuff that he says. Amen. <laughs> Hat- wait, wait, wait. Don't laugh loudly. Let Reggie Amen, speak. Amen, Sanu, Hatchesef, Sut. And it's um, it's um, it's the um, Emen who is um, um, Emen Canoe, right? And it's the foremost of the ladies. So, so us, I don't, I don't Emen, understand. Emen of, is, of course, some people would say Amen, just so you know. It's probably more correctly Emen, but I want you to say it so the folks in the audience understand, right? Yeah, Amen, Emen. Right, and Canoe. Know it sounds like. Canoe, right? Right? And then it's hot foremost. Hey, that's why, man, my that's why this book coming out is so important because I'm speaking on two of the points that they made, and I'm speaking on two of those points in the book. Shepsut of the ladies. <coughs> so with all that medical physical stuff, he just messed up the name of a formidable <laughs> black woman, ruler king. With all that metaphysical, we never got to the fact. That it says for most of the ladies. That's your now, let me say this to you very quickly. You to to say, you no, Reggie don't be talking. Go ahead, Jabari. From passing the ball back and forth to put it in the hoop. Something is wrong. <laughs> because <laughs> Reggie and Jabari, uh, listen, man, we be oh, arguing like all the time. When we pass in the pass the ball back and I'm forth. Loving this. Them. I'm loving this. Now, Jabari. No, 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 all right, everybody. Oh, let, let me go, everybody. Let me go nah, 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 nah. I already said Saquon, um, huh? And then you can go after him. I don't okay, want to. I'm, you know. I'm fine yeah. with that. So, Quan, is you got the floor, brother. Unmute you yourself. Uh oh. Time is valuable. <laughs> I'm mute you. Go ahead. Where you at? Right. I need you to share it. No, we okay. ain't saying what. That ain't him. Why are you doing that? Hi, Skip. No, you're not the guy. Okay, you should... Yo, um, um, please, brother. Let the man oh, speak. Oh, 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 that's Saquon. I didn't know that was Saquon. Yeah. Okay, I made a statement. <laughs> My fault, I Saquon. I didn't know you changed your name. My fault. Okay, uh, look, I, I made a statement that the Tagalog is very similar. Can you blow it up, um, Apostle? Uh, we can't read that. Hey, I got you. Here you go. I got you. Blowing it up? Yeah, I just did. Go ahead. <laughs> Stupid. That ain't blowing it up. It is. You can see it better. You gotta go further than that. All right. There, there you go. There you go. All right. That's good. That's good, All right. Apostle. Okay. All right. I'm uh, this Giorgio Z- Z- book of history and the Filipino people. The Jesuit priest father. I ain't gonna pronounce that in 24 pages. Quote: I found in this language four qualities. Of four of the greatest languages of the world, Hebrew, Greek, Latin, and Spanish. <laughs> it has a mystery of austerity of the Hebrew. Oh, and look, man, come 
Yo. Yo. Hell no. Oh no, this Hebrew. And here's the no, why haven't why he didn't finish? He said this further support my view that the Philippines is the biblical land of a foot. I don't I don't believe that, and that's not true. And this brother needs to pick up my book. This is a bad source. Matter of fact, I ain't no telling where he got this from, but I like how he skipped over there because so now the, the, the Philippines is the uh this this King Solomon's this land that Solomon them roamed in. Then why, brother, uh, uh, you just told me that it's it's on the other side of the world in Africa. Now you didn't brought a pseudo source where niggas say he think it was in the Philippines. Trans audience was saying before I said a word, <laughs> apostle don't have no scholarship, ain't speaking no scholarship. <laughs> I ain't saying a word. <laughs> Oh, you got a little scout, you know. But the point is, man, like this word up here say here. Uh -huh. I look back and laugh. The <laughs> laugh is on you. What you doing? Let me see. Uh, the, the, the guy that put in that and said that he's sitting with three Filipino people. Ooh, let me and what? I'm lying. what is this? Facebook? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> What is it, bro? <laughs> it's Google. What I did, I, 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 I just looked up. The he raised his hand on him. I just looked it up. Oh, uh, the Hebrew. I just looked it up. The yeah, Filipino yeah. language. <laughs> That's all I did. I just looked it up. Does Tagalog sound like the Hebrew and no. Japanese? No, that's what is it? That's the and question. It says the root is actually Aramaic. Ah, oh, man, it's, it's a fake book. With a Tagalog like <laughs> that. That's Quora. Who wrote it? That's Quora. Come on, yo. It's coming from Quora. I just but gave you. Quora. <laughs> he said it's coming from Quora. That's, that's just one I, I, no, that's just one I use. All of this, you can pick. <laughs> nah, bro. I just Google that. More than that. Now you having it fun, man. Any one of these sources. You could have. It doesn't matter. More than that. It's not that it is. And look at Egyptian Adept got a good book right there. That's a the good book, Egyptian Adept. That's a good book right there, bro. I don't know why you don't just read that. Don't be interrupted by all. I'm yes, sorry. Sir. I said, Jabari Yo, yo, let him finish, y'all. Let the apostle finish, y'all. Let him finish. Don't go. Okay. Don't go, Reggie. Just calling for me. I'm on my way. To, I just want to say. Appreciate you. Period. Can I, can Appreciate I, can I just say all something? Can you just, just interrupt him, man? Yo, no. I need everybody to be quiet. Just let Apostle finish. Jabari, I'm going to let you follow. Go ahead, Apostle. It, it, it says here, imagine that 800 B.C. Hebrew met Tagalog and hung out they speak in a language today that was spoken 4,000 years ago. That's all I want to share. Mm. And it has a vowel consonant. <laughs> Two of them. A, ba, ga, la, ha, za, sound like Reggie ha. now. <laughs> they are speaking that language right now today that we refer to oh, as the Paleo Abaya. Oh, man. All right, all right, Apostle. Let us address that. No, Again, just 15 oh, seconds. One of the Go things ahead. that is problematic, and I'm not sure if, if, um, if Apostle understands this. We don't know. We can't verify the source. You don't speak Tagalog. You don't know whether the book makes sense. It's something you saw on Facebook. That's just not the way this is done, brother. <laughs> Tagalog. Then you made it sound, you made you made it sound like is. Tagalog. Wait, let me. All right, you. let him finish. Let him finish, you yeah. it Sound like Tagalog was some sort of exclusive language, but it's the second most. I I know lots of people that speak Tagalog. I, show this Tagalog. really quickly, Sonetta. Really quickly, please. Tagalog is the second most spoken language in the Philippines. 14 million people speak it. Mm. Okay. This is not some exclusive language How that many people live there? speak because it's a secret between the chosen people. How many people I, live there, I, I Hold on, hold on. Apostle, let him go. 
give you black cook. What was the point? Black uh cook, help us out. He said, all missed the point. Help us out on that, black cook. I need you to verify some things before you bring it to this audience. Please. This is important what we're doing for our people right now. And maybe what you said looks interesting, but do some more research before you bring it to the to the family. Because we're just, I mean, you just saw something from Facebook? I mean, did you read the book? You don't even know if that's in the book that you're quoting. You got to do some more scholarship on this. <clears throat> That's all I got to say. All right. Um, Jabari, you want to close out because it's getting late? Nah, come oh, on. Sorry, you I don't do it. Hold up, Jabari. You want to wait until Unc go and then I got to let some. Sure. I'm going to get right, him get out of here quick. Get First of all, all right, just clear that screen. Hey, Reggie, don't move, Reggie. Right? We're going <laughs> to show him why we do what we do real quick. This easy work. Now, this man took 10 minutes of complete lies and foolery. <laughs> right? The high rhetoric is the oldest. He said all. Black Cook, you want to come on the panel? Black Cook, if I drop the link down, would you come on the panel, brother? Black Cook, with your laughing emojis down there, do you want to come on the panel and get cooked? That's what I thought. I know you ain't talking about hitting no links and coming up here, though. Hey, Junior, you know Lolita going to be in Galveston, huh? She coming down here to Texas. New Fat Boy Fitness hit me, too. New Fat Boy Fitness hit me up, too. Oh, uh, say he going to come down. I want to show you guys something. So you probably... All right, well, Black Cook, we'll see if you're a man of your word because the link is in the chat. All that. He said that. Ten minutes. Watch how quick I get him out of here. Watch this. I'm going to start. I'm going to reset my clock. Now watch this. Holla kill a pseudo, right, with real sources. Here you go. Boom. Now, what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is the same thing I'm going to do to Sanchez. Make sure y'all get that ticket. Do the same thing. I'm going to read something from a light source called Wikipedia, and it's going to actually give you the order. That nigga, <laughs> see how he eased his way in to say he about to bring a Wikipedia article. Yeah, Black Cook, what's taking you so long, bro? Laughing emojis in my chat. Is that Top Cat up there, too? Brother, the link is in the chat. From Meta Nature already to the High Reddit. And then I'm going to show you the alphabet and how it transitions like that. Now watch this. Here we go. We got him. Hold on, Bobby Banger. Black Cook, are you going to come up, brother? What's wrong? The link is in the chat. He said put the link in. The link is in the chat, brother. We're waiting on you to come up. Put me in the game, coach. Put me in the game, coach. Let me share my screen. Cook, you in the game. Come on with it. <laughs> Here you go. What's Easy up? work. Easy work. We're going to come right here. It says right here. You can see the hieroglyphics, right? Y'all see it? Current system. Proto writing. Can you zoom in? Uh, you got to zoom in, man. The browser. You want me to zoom in with the browser? Yeah, because we can't read it. Y'all see how he eased up to say he's going to bring in a Wikipedia article? And them niggas be... Wikipedia niggas to death, but they tell me they the top scholars in the game. Say, Cook, what's up, bro? Goddamn, bro, why you on some pussy shit? Nigga, you come in here with laughing emojis. Nigga, drop the link. I don't want to do nothing but run a fade with you real quick. Uh, all right, here you go. I don't know how to do it, Jabari. You know how to do it. I mean, then, can y'all see it now? Yeah, it went down. It went down. Oh, not, oh, that's not, that's not bigger. Better. He's going to scroll. That's better. All right, now watch this. It's clear. This he died. He did right here. It's a parent system, proto writing, and he just hieroglyphics. The child system. Listen, the child. What's the child? If you bring your scary ass on the panel, I'll prove it to you. The link is right under your comment, brother. You said prove to you on me, and then well, the link is right under you, family. We waiting on you to come up, so I can prove it to you. But it look like you got that pussy, nigga, and you're going to sit in the chat because you're a scary-ass nigga. The parent is the hieroglyphics, and the child is the hieratic, the proto-cynetic, mm -hmm. 
the demonic and the malretic. Now watch this. Look, it tells you right here. It said the Egyptian hieroglyphics were the formal writing system used by the ancient Egyptian and, and ancient Egypt. They say used for writing the Egyptian language. Hieroglyphs combine low graphic, symbolic, and alphabetic. Remember we talked about the alphabetic element to it? They found that the, the Sinai Peninsula. That's why they call it Sinai script. Now watch this. Elements with some 1,000 distinct characters, right? It says cursive hieroglyphs were used for religious literature on... Black Cook got that pussy. Black Cook got that pussy. I know a whole ass nigga when I see one. I seen him. I say, that's a whole ass nigga right there. A nigga named Black Cook. Oh, yeah, nigga, I wish you would came up here, scary ass nigga. You done showed everybody you a hoe. You'll drop the link. Link in the chat. Where is it? I don't see it. That bitch in there about three times. But you just a pussy ass nigga, though. On papyri and wood. What's the cursive? The later hieratic. See that word? All those who went to school in the United States know what later mean. I mean, after. Later on. The later hieratic and demonic. So the hieratic is a cursive form. And the demonic is a highly cursive form. It said the Egyptian scripts, watch this, were derived from hieroglyphic writing. So the hieratic and the demonic was derived from the hieroglyphic writing. It says, as was the proto cinetic right? <clears throat> we got the turquoise deity, Mother Hawthor, at the Sinai Peninsula. That's why they call it synetic script. The proto cinetic script, which is really. All right, you go bye bye now. Somebody about to uh, blow your head off now, brother. So we'll see you another time. The alphabetic script. Now watch this. Scare ass nigga. And even when they kill you, you still can hit the link to come on the pound and get your ass whooped. The proto synetic script that later evolved into the Phoenician alphabetic. Now watch this. Though so the Phoenician alphabet's major child system, the Greek and the Aramaic script, the Egyptian how uh, the Egyptian hieroglyphic script is the what, ladies and gentlemen. The ancestral to the to the majority of scripts in modern use. Watch this. Most prominently, look the Latin. Now, what's the Latin? Now, watch this. Watch how easy this is. I got him, Coach. It's almost over with. How much time? I'm at three minutes and twenty four seconds. Damn. The game is over with. Minute. Right in front of your face, you see the ball. So our ancestors, the ancestors, African people were looking at bulls, natural things in nature. And they decided the bull was the head. That's why I saw it's the great bull. He's the head. Then you come to the Sinai Peninsula at 1850 BC, right? And you get the symbol of the bull. Then you get the Phoenician alphabet. Look. Phoenician alphabet. Now watch this. 1200 BCE. Look at it changing. Man, that nigga said two wrong things. Even the shit he said about Osiris. From your face. Then you get the Greek Aleph at 600 BCE. Then at 114, you get the Roman A. See how that transition? I just showed you what I just read. The game is over with, ladies and gentlemen. I showed you with the words, and then I showed you with the symbols. So these symbols actually have a sound correspondent to it. Starting off from a natural occurring animal in Africa, which is the bull. The oldest bull culture you will find in ancient Nubia. How do you pronounce that letter? It's always a nut in the class. No, I'm asking. My point is, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no name clock. calling, Unc. No here's name calling, clock. brother. Here's my I clock. Just, I just want to ignorant. He's ignorant. Here's my clock. Ladies and gentlemen, I let it run a little bit, boy. I stopped the clock. See how long it took me to get him out of here? I'm going to say this again. Did y'all see how fast yeah. it took me to get him out of here? That was good work there. That doesn't make any that sense. That was good work there, brother. That doesn't how make... Do hey, 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 Sarnetta, the they forget that we the real champions around here. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Let me brother you, Reggie, let me everybody be quiet. I still got five minutes. Be quiet, Apostle. Yeah, you now right, I can bro. have fun. You right. You yeah, got let me, brother let me Reggie. Let me that, a commission. A commission. You went 10 minutes, bro. You went 10 minutes, bro. I'm on here four minutes. Let All me right. have my fun. Come on, Listen, man. Listen. No, he could. No. See, see, this is what they don't understand. Right? Jabari is a champion. I'm going to give him that. No, Reggie's a super champion. champion. I'm Bobby banging this bitch.
Y'all got to understand that. That's the same thing I'm going to do to Sanchez. How long do it take to kill a pseudo? To Hootie, use the number one pseudo with the hat on, with the dead snake around the unk, the double unk side. Yo, I don't bro, understand bro. that. Now, Hootie's on your side, bro. Yeah, on my side, no. no. Yeah, no I do not be friends with down. pseudos in this thing. I'm not listening to them. I don't play with pseudos. Don't let me don't let me get them get them on you. I um, already beat them up. up. You don't know the tape? We already got tape on him. Oh. Yeah, I already oh. beat him up. He done. We're talking about some ghost built the pyramids. That guy right there with the funny hat. No, he he those with funny that, hats. He don't teach uh, no ghost build the pyramid. He do. He, do. he so said the Khufu didn't he build the pyramids. He, said he did say it. He did say it. He said the ghost built it. The gods built it. He well, did. he gonna be able to clear his stuff he up. Can't he go out. Up. Hold on. Mike Tech one two one two. What's up with it, brother? What, what can we do for you today? You on mute if you talking. Uh, what it do? Metadata ain't been deciphered. I don't know why Top Cat was talking to me, but uh, peace, Top Cat. Oh man, I clicked on your shit. By <laughs> hey, get it in, Top Cat. Give him that work. Oh, you was trying to go on side now to now. Yeah, yeah. All right, go on. Go over the top up there and get on the ass then. <laughs> For sure, bro. Peace. I want my last two minutes. Hey, to who did? Stop! 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 All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, Commission. Why you saying, Commission? Commission, I want you to be aware. I want you to be aware. You right? Hold on, I want you to be aware that the Egyptian thing does not start off with Christian writing. Hold on, it's the listen. You're saying exactly what I showed the people. That heretic is a cursive form, bro. Now, now, yeah, come on, yo. No, I listen, mean, hold on. What you actually read mean, was, hold on. What you actually read was right. You said, the, hold on, hold on, commission. We, we just, hold on, commission. Hold on, commission. You simply said, commission. What you simply said was, was that the false impression was that the majority of the text was written in Metanetia, but no, it was written in the cursive form. I agree. So nah, I'm done. Jabari, please have Jabari, please have all right. All right. Everybody, 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 stop. everybody stop. Let me get back to Tahuti now so we can get all this right. thing over with. Answer that question to Hootie. I dare you. I dare you to Hootie. Um, bang banger, please let him go, man. All right. He need to answer. Okay. Go ahead, Tahuti. Okay, good. Okay, good. So first off, um, once again, ladies and gentlemen, another a uh, disgruntled person that I've debated. Uh, nigga, answer the question, nigga. <laughs> nigga, answer the question. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to stop, man. You disgruntled. Bro, you got to stop, brother. What are you doing, huh? So tell him to answer the question. Um, if we ain't going to never end the damn show. You got to let the man speak, brother. You, you going to let him not answer the question? Yes, I'm going to let him do what he want. Let him, let him oh, speak. So you ain't going to make speak. him answer the question. All right, I'm done. Thank you, brother. Go ahead. But don't Go ahead, say I'm brother. disgruntled. So once again, another, another disgruntled um, person that I've debated and beat. I'm trying to bring up old topics of debates again. Uh, we already had that debate, ladies and gentlemen. You can look up Tahuti versus um, Unc West, another person on the panel that I've debated and won according to the rules, and they keep trying to bring up the same um, topics. Um, as far as the answer to the question, who built the, uh, the pyramids? Our ancient ancestors built the pyramids. Um, now it's my turn. Um, no, bro, stop that. Yo, stop. Oh, man, come on, brother. You got to stop, man. Stop, we'll man. Make him the brother, we'll make you him disrespecting up. right now. Let the man speak, huh? Come on, man. Un Unquest, man. Unquest, did, did, we, did we have a... Did we have a... You doing no discipline like the Hebrews, bro. Come on, man. Let him speak. I That's got great doing. discipline. I just don't play the, Maybe I'll the question. Maybe um, Unquest, did we did we have a debate? Um, did we have a debate, uh, an official debate before on a particular league? Which I don't know if Sonetta wants me to mention now, but did we have an official you debate? You shouldn't ask him no questions, brother. Just speak. No, go ahead. Yeah, we did have an official debate. And I beat the shit out you. Okay. Unmercifully. Well, no cursing, brother. No profanity, man. Absolutely. Okay. So once, I once beat, again, the, beat the okay. crap out of him. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this always happens. Uh, we have what's called a preliminary 
where we agree to uh, certain rules and regulations. And every time I beat somebody based on the agreed rules, there's always some type of disgruntled feedback happening. Uh, so me and Uncle SCS did have an official debate on the topic was, did Pharaoh Khufu build the pyramids? Not who built the pyramids. It was, did Pharaoh Khufu build the pyramids? My stance was Pharaoh Khufu did not build the pyramids. His stance was that he was. We had an official debate. And um, go ahead, Sean, I'm just going to share my screen for just two seconds, please. I'm going to share my screen for two seconds. I don't see nothing sharing. Okay, tell me when it's um, sharing it. All right, there you go. You're sharing it? Yep. Okay, wonderful. So uh, there's, the, there's the certificate of win. There's the judges, Shamaya Allen, Andrew Ford, Prince Kofi, uh, Nukat Karak, and Dewan. And it was a 6-0 with two ties, and that was a debate between me and Unc West, and the debate was called <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is why I I don't, I don't, this is why I don't argue. I, I keep he got debating a people. Going. He beats you. Oh. Hey, so, so. From the, from the, the, look at the names on the certificate. Are y'all serious? From the from the from the league down. that We're I debated get... in, from the league that I debated in, whether you, Could you really or not on, on quest, participate in the debate, lost lost the debate, and once again, Stop every it. guy he sees me, he brings up the same the same um topic. I do not debate whether I want to debate or not. Dude. I I debate people. There's either a judging system or a voting system. They declare the winner, and then I just remain silent. I will not say that out of my opinion is I beat Jabari. It's not my opinion that I beat Jabari. It's not my opinion that I beat. To death. It's not my opinion that I'd be unquest. I have no opinion in this, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why people continue to talk about debates after the winner is announced at the oh, end man. of the debate. Oh, Leave it alone and we can do it, it. My bad, man. I was I was answering the brother question. Um John Good said Top Cats jump over there on the on the panel. So look, this is my game, right? My intentions from since yesterday was Barrow and Jabari, they're going to go set up a debate. I'm going to come in when they open it up for questions and all that type of shit. I'm going to come in and, you know, I'm going to call out Shagamo. Well, Farrow, you know, he ended up getting TKO'd. 
He got stopped. He left out. It kind of changed the energy. So I said, you know what I'll do since I have a book coming out? The topics that I want to argue are in my book. So I, you know, when that energy, when the energy changed on it, I said, you know what? I just follow my other mind, my first mind, and just wait till I have the book in my hand and use it as a promotional tool when I go on there to make the challenge. And the challenges that I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna help promote the book with it. So I said, you know, so timing is everything, you know what I'm saying? And me going on there just saying, yeah, I, yeah, I got a book coming out that's talk about all this. My nigga might think you're lying or you're selling it. So timing is everything, man. Just be pay, gotta be patient and pick my shots. So I, I think it'll be a, um, more powerful if I can go there with the work, you know what I'm saying? And whoop a nigga ass with the book in front of the audience and, uh, you know, get a debate set up. And I think, um, you know, like I said, it'll be a promotional tool as well for niggas to go get the book. Hey, we got to go. My goal was 300. My daughter told me, go for 500. I said, man, 500 books is a lot. I don't know if I can say. She said, I said, three was my number. I said, man, I feel good if I could sell about 300 of my She said, nah, you need 500. So I she guess the new goal is 500, goddamn. Again, if we choose to, but if it's not, please my ex debate. Lucini say 600, goddamn. You must go get the other 100 of them all then, nigga. Go on, grab them other 100 of them all then, nigga. <laughs> you see what he just did? Yo, I didn't say please nothing please. about no debate. He did. He asked please me stop, if I debated. I don't care. Please stop bringing up the base. And if you want official <laughs> proof that I've won any of my debates and you want to put a $5,000 a, a $5, cash app. You're doing the Pharaoh Twitter. right now, Unc. You're doing Pharaoh. You ain't got him just leave. Hey, didn't I just say that? He, he acting like Pharaoh, so I never just said the same thing. But no, I'm just leaving, yo, because now you oh, did, now you letting him have too much fun. No, nah, y'all chill out on John Good. He, 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 I, don't, I ain't take that with disrespect. Well, I ain't think that with disrespect. You go on the I don't Come like that. Let the man speak, though. See, I don't like. Hey, can I ask the barrier a question real quick? Keep, keep um, for one second. I'm gonna close out. I do have a class to teach right now. I don't want to keep rehashing my debates. I just, I just ask for my debaters. Listen, my debaters, I respect you. We debate. At the end of the debate, there's a winner announced. When the winner's announced, the debate is over. Stop talking about it. Stop bringing up. Stop bringing up the topic. Please just stop. Okay. I'm just here to teach. Leave it alone. I've beaten people. The winner was announced by Sonetta. The winner was announced by the judges. I have the certificate, the proof. I have Sonetta saying I beat Jabari. I have I have, I have all the judges saying I beat Kamisa. You have me saying you beat Jabari. Yes. You got me saying you beat Jabari. Sonetta didn't want to be alone. If if I said you beat Jabari, he can't be Floyd Mayweather, bro. That is exactly shit. You told me I beat Jabari, nigga. Damn. Exactly the point. Watch so shall, shall, shall I screen share again? I mean, I have to keep doing this to people. I, don't I, don't I must have been half asleep or some shit. I don't know. Oh, yeah. you, 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 you actually did two. You actually did. You actually did. You actually did two shows on the meeting Yeah. You did the show. You did the show, you did the show where the debate actually took place, and then the next day you did another show. This nigga's crazy. In, in, in Go ahead. What's up? Can I just see this very quickly? Maybe Sinelli was high. Like I don't, I don't, I don't keep debating this. I can just put. If anybody wants to put five thousand on it, I didn't even bring it up. If anybody wants to put five thousand on it, put your five thousand up that I have proof. Yeah, I put my five stacks up. Hey, buy hear me right now. Right now, I put my five up right now. Yo, calm down. Everybody, calm down. Jabari, all right. Yeah, let him close out. Let him finish. He's closing out. Jabari. I don't know why people keep talking about my debates and my wins. Just the, what the agreement, if you respect Sonnet's platform and we have an agreement, if you respect the lines, then whatever platform you're on, when you make those agreements and the debate is over, according to the rules and regulations of the agreement, if I won according to the agreement, then it's over. Please leave me alone. Please leave this situation alone. We can go on to other debates. Promotion. Sonetter can't say to who he's a bum. He's he's going against Jabari. If he did that, no one would watch. Sonetter will do promotion, and that's what he's supposed to do. There's a reason why we call him the Don King of the Conscious. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
saying that because they all said your wife jumped in to help you. Remember yeah. that? There, there was a point where, um, and by the way, it wasn't oh, just a Mika. We were having a. He did help him. It was, he got stuck on the middle netter. It was something he ain't know, and his wife did help him out. Conversation, and Reggie was there too. Mm -hmm. Both people came in and said, "What are you saying, Tahuti?" I guess I have to play the video. I guess this was not a debate, and all I have to do, and I don't want to do yeah. this. By the way, you need to understand. That I didn't bring it up. He's saying we keep bringing it up. I didn't bring this up at all. Thank you. <laughs> I never brought this no, up. Fuck you Thank you. Fuck you. Because you similar to you, I, I just do what I do and I keep going. I'm not. I'm not focused on Tahuti. Tahuti's argument was the the Netaru, the deities yeah, and Kemet were cool. actually real people. That was his argument. I think that's a ridiculous argument. We had a conversation. That's it. Now, having said that, Tahuti. You are the one that is asking for a debate. <sighs> I want to be really clear about that. I want to be really clear about that. And I Let's don't. Let me go and play the intro. No, so no, no, nah, 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 no playing, no intros. Not, just close I out. Think, Bobby, it's time, I man. Think, I think that before you come here, yeah. all I got to say. Shout out to Top Cat, the big chief university. I, wait, what's going on? I waited and I listened for him to speak. <laughs> now y'all just said, let me get I wanted to ask you a question, Jamari. Just one question. <laughs> you are the let us get out of here. Uh, nigga, fuck. I think he's you are the one that is asking for a debate. <sighs> I want to be really clear about that. I want to be really clear about that. And I don't let me go and play the intro. No, 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 no playing, no intros. Not, just close out, Bobby. It's time, man. I think, I think that before you come here, no, get a, give our shout out, man. They already know what time. They already know who running this shit. Woo! What I tell you, Rob Boy gonna be mad because anybody I go over there and get in the ring with, nigga, say y'all want to try to treat me all oh, any shit. Okay, I remember uh Mayweather. Asked for 20 million to fight De La Hoya. Bob Aaron told him, listen, man, that type of money don't exist. And look what he ended up getting. He dropped him, uh, bought his contract out, and fought De La Hoya, and, and the rest is history. So I'm going to show Rob Owen them that. Oh, nigga, say, boy, y'all don't stop playing. Oh, he don't know no better. He know he's still a little nigga. He green. He wet now, nigga. The game, no, nigga, one of the baddest motherfuckers. Damn, the baddest. They, but we got to get in the ring and prove it. And so that's a victim on the screen right there. So I know you told me I whooped that nigga ass and you told him not to, told, told him not to sleep on me. And you was fucked up that he didn't bring a PowerPoint. And then I got another clip. I can play the clip. Don't worry about it. Y'all, I'm going to let this keep playing and I'm going to go get the clip. All I Shout out to Top Cat, the big chief university. I, wait, what's going on? I waited and I listened for him to speak. That nigga say, wait, what's going on? Is he here? <laughs> yeah. Say to Barf, get the fuck up out of there. He said, wait a minute, what the hell going on? Is he here? Uh oh, make it official. I think he's I, saying one according to the agreement. Then no plan, no intros. Not, just close out. Think, Bobby, it's time, I man. Think, I think that before you come oh, here. Man. All I Shout out to Top Cat, the big chief university. Wait, what's going on? I waited and I listened for him. Is he here? Don't give me a gun. Is he is he is the guy in the vicinity? I'm just speaking. Now y'all <laughs> just talking over me. <laughs> I want to wait. What's going on? What, what somebody talk to me? What's going on? What are y'all saying? Big chief is big chief here? What somebody's talk to me? What's going on? Fuck that. Fuck the hootie. Oh, somebody with me. Where that other nigga at? That nigga ain't in there, huh? Because, see, this show little past my bedtime. <laughs> no, nah, see, I, I should have been. God, woo, look how time flies. What, what the hell you mean? A big chief university? Where? <laughs> see? Let me ask you a question, Jabari. Just one I'm question. Not, <laughs> no, I have a question, but I'm yeah, trying to finish with you. Right? And I'm the dude in the title, and y'all, come on, stop. Now, <laughs> to be very clear, I have never had an official debate with Tehudi. Tehudi seems to be asking for a debate, and all I gotta say before I close is, Tehudi, get your weight up. Mm. Uh oh, I gotta say, mm. uh oh, make oh. me a Christian man. Mm -hmm. He came in here and been and was very disingenuous with this. Means mm -hmm. that you're asking for one, and I'm gonna give you one now. Mm. Uh oh, I'm gonna oh. give you one now. Damn, Tehudi. 
So let me close. Be careful Let's, what you ask us Jabari, about. Let me close. Let me Jabari, close. hold on, Jabari. Talk to me for a minute. Jabari, yes. maybe me and you are C now, right? But we didn't bring up no damn debate. I didn't. No, Unc, you did, bro. Respectfully, I ain't on nobody's side, but I admit, uh, Unc, you brought the debate up, and you said I kicked your motherfucking ass or something to that extent, brother. But uh, yes, Unc, you did mention it before he pulled up his receipt. That was his whole reason. As soon as he got the mic, he went straight into it, brother. That was the source he had pulled up, and so now, Unc, you can't try to go get your boy with that that old penitentiary hook ass game you be trying to run. And real niggas see through it. That's penitentiary tactics that you're using. And you don't be intimidating nobody with it. Uh, we whoop old school, nigga. Yeah, we put your head old ass to sleep, nigga. With them weak ass old school penitentiary Baltimore project tactics. Bring it up. I didn't bring it up. <laughs> you know, that one ain't no ghost <laughs> building pyramid. Bring it up. What is hey, it? Jabari. Hey, hey, All Jabari. right. Well, well, you know we're not crazy. So, man, man going to turn that nonsense on. Let so we know we didn't bring that up, out, man. So, please so Sarnetta, do me a favor, Sarnetta. Yes. We're gonna play the debate because it was a fisher's debate between me and Tahuti, and I beat the hell out of them. And then they all lied. They was like, "Unk one." Then they changed it up. Then they did a whole week. Okay, all week right, brother. So all right, play all right. Again. Hey, big round. Hey, <laughs> like a motherfucker, nigga. You ain't see. Hey, man, like that though, man. Shit, I pay you. Fuck it, nigga. What you want? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna feature on another channel. Y'all can all get ahead. Break out, y'all. Everybody, break out. He don't want to answer questions, my brother. All All right, go ahead, Jabari. Close out. Close. Let me close. Let me close. Let me just really say, um, that. Uh, I'm honored to be on Sonata's plat platform. I'm pleased that we had a conversation. It's been so long that we can even forget what the conversation was about. This was a conversation with young Pharaoh, right? Everybody else is trying to jump up. And if I was a loser, would they be trying to jump up? I didn't say nothing about Tahuti. Who's acting like the loser right now? <laughs> because I said nothing about him. I'm sitting here going, let's close. And he's like, I've beaten everyone on the panel. I've beaten Jabari. I've beaten. What, what was that? What was that? So like, all I got to say like, is yeah. get your weight up. I showed no slides during that whole conversation. Y'all know me. I usually come with a bunch of slides. I didn't even want to do the conversation. Yeah, he come with nothing against me. And I mentioned it double digit time, nigga. Because guess what? Just how you just tried to do Fat Road, nigga? Y'all can call me new all y'all want, but I know the veteran tricks. I know all of this shit. And nigga, I was sticking your ass and I kept, I leaned on you. I made you go Google some shit, nigga. Nigga, and don't forget, he has your boy have not shown anything tonight. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> with, um, with Young Pharaoh tonight, because I didn't have slides. And I ended up preparing some slides really quickly before the, the conversation we had. So, uh, Sonetter can confirm that. So I think that sometimes what people do is they look at Sonetter's promotion. Sonetter can't say to who he's a bum. He's, he's going against Jabari. If he did that, no one would watch. Sonetter will do promotion. And that's what he's supposed to do. There's a reason why we call him the Don King of the conscious community. That's not an insult. <laughs> that's not an insult. <laughs> Because we have lots of people watching tonight, and it's almost 1 a.m., and there's still people watching because Sonnetter does what he does well. That's it. So please don't get high on your own supply. That's all. So with this, I just want us to recognize that as we're looking at the Medu Netter, there are challenges with understanding everything. But with great scholarship, we've actually come forward light years from where we were in the beginning. We're able to have lots of texts, which are well translated now, that explain these, um, these, these principles. So I don't want you to listen to people say it's not been translated, because if you listen to them, you won't read. That's what's so dangerous about this. Read the text. So I, I, I want to say, I'm, once again, I'm honored to, to be in front of you. Um, I, I really hope that, that young Farrell comes back and and is more lucid and i truly hope that um all of you are doing your work and before we're finished remember you were able to translate this tonight why because you did the same thing that people did 
when they um, found the Rosetta Stone. That's why you were able to translate it. Because you know this alphabet. Just like they knew the alphabet, the letters that were in Greek, that's what they were able to do. So just as you were able to, by the way, um, now I'm going to forget the brother's name. Please send me the email. It's in, it's in, the, um, in the, uh, the, the record, so I'll look at it. Please send me an email so I can send you your package. I'm going to keep my word. I'm going to send you a DVD and a signed book. So make sure you write the right name. The name that's in the chat may not be the name that you want me to sign the, the book in. And it's going to come from my, um, from my pocket because I want people to understand you can do the work and understand this. Mm. Finally, Sonetta is coming to Kemet with us. Don't miss this historic tour. You should be on it as well because it's going to be amazing. You need to now. He's now he's making the friend scared. Look, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some um some drugs and some green tea and give it to him because you know he loved green tea, and then he gonna wake up in Kemet. So <laughs> that's what we go to. <laughs> Just make sure you're <laughs> looking at <it>, boy. <laughs> All right, now watch this here, y'all. <laughs> he don't care. I'm an American. Yeah, that's how cat man. It's so difficult because they don't get killed. Hey, y'all, let me know if y'all can hear the audio. Let me know if y'all can hear the audio. That's how cat man. It's so difficult because they don't get killed. Listen, listen, bro. We're not. I'm not gonna make you the baby, brother. You okay? You ain't gotta keep doing that these things that you don't want to make. We already got this. That's why I'm gonna leave you alone, none of that. You're not ready to get here. Come on, no. Because I'm an American Indian. And Shaka Amos, you don't know. But boy, I've been studying you. I've been watching your footwork. I've been watching your jab, nigga. I've been watching your weaknesses. Oh, boy, I see some. I see some. I see how you leave your chin in the air. Oh, I'm too, it's, 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 I'm too quick for him. Oh, Shaka getting real slow now. He getting old. That nigga stuck it. He, yeah. See, when you beat. Studying Shaka, one of them people he go in his bubble and he don't leave out. A lot of times when you're in your bubble, you probably don't even conversate even throughout the day with nobody because you just in your studies. And Shaka, uh, he make that mistake of sometimes he just be in his bubble and when he come out, he don't, he ain't warmed up. What we'll call it in the locker room, warmed up. And it'll take him uh, too long. And that's not enough. You can't start slow with me, bro. I'm going to already be on top of you. You can't start slow with me. And then I know your fighting style too, so I know I'm going to start fast. That's why I say my first round really can be my third round. But I'm going to make it my first round because I know he's a slow starter. I'm going to get down on him and lay some shots on his ass and make him feel my power, let him see my speed, let him miss me. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, second round, I'm, I'm going to go to work on the, on the body. Third round... Is, is, is over with. I already got that bitch put up. Y'all think I'm bullshitting? No, let me see something. Bad motherfucker, nigga. That hoe, that done. And I'm going hard. We got a lecture coming up. That bitch probably be Monday. But yeah. Um, is this it? Nah, I'm looking for the debate one. That ain't it. What that bitch that, that say debate? Not even that debate. I got a few debates. Boom, boom, boom. Here you go. America versus Egypt. 
Let me see if I can do this on there. Let me scroll down to the bottom. Just a little sneak peek. And I don't care about niggas seeing my slides because I'm that cold. I'm going to let you know it's fourth and one. We finna quarterback sneak it. It ain't nothing you can do about it. Y'all see that number down there? Y'all see what number we on down there? Somebody drop it in the chat. What number we on down there? 135. All I got to do is lose weight for the fight. The work I already done. Sky is the limit. Say pause. What that mean? Oh, I guess you just, I guess you just bad. Sky the limit. Say she walk in and shut the room down. Tupac shit. All eyes on me. Yeah. Sky's the limit came in, motherfucker. You say, hey man, all eyes on me. Or oh, or oh, she went players club. Or oh, who was that Ronnie? What she went in there and told them nigga, listen, motherfuckers. Keep y'all motherfucking eyes on me. Yeah, she went Ronnie out player club in this motherfucker. And boy, look at the fellas out there. Who they looking? Who is that? Ah look who fellas out there. They said, who is that? Who she here for? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she big and bad. Uh, she got to be born on the 8th, the uh, 17th, or the 26th. Yeah, she come here with a type of attitude like this. She was born on the 8th day of the month, the 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 16th. I mean, the 7th. Yeah, the 16th. No, the 17th. I'm sorry. The 17th or the 26th. Big badass sky is the limit. Where you from? Oh, okay, now she got shot. Okay, don't come here popping that big old shit. It did get shot. Goddamn teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, turn up one time. Y'all seen that though? Yeah, we got 135 in the clip right now. All we got to do is slim down. All we got to do is 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 is, is lose weight. We got so much shit, we ain't gonna be able to use everything. All we gotta do is, is, is slim down real quick, you know? Make weight. Oh, the work is done. Tell you, it's, it's, it's. Nigga can't stand in there with me, man. It's over with when the book drops, because I'm going over there popping big shit. Yeah, you niggas talking that shit. Oh, Shaka ain't no author. Egypt was a black land. Look at that boy. Y'all wrong. Y'all done ran my little friend out, man. Ran my little friend out. Carrie, you a motherfucker. <laughs> Shrugs, I already got an Instagram or Twitter. <laughs> a TikTok. <shrug. laughs> he not already downloaded it. That nigga got the Twitter, the TikTok. And a uh, Facebook page. Got an old MySpace page. That nigga, that, <laughs> that nigga, that nigga said she had a Twitch account. Ain't never used that motherfucker though. Yeah. Like, what? They wouldn't have found the boy. Them nigga young snipers. They ain't, them niggas ain't bullshit. Husband sitting there. Turn that motherfucking shit off. How that nigga know your name? Lay your ass down. Nigga gonna get your ass whooped playing on that internet. What the hell you mean? Uh, running y'all players club, coming that bitch in them leather boots. And listen, motherfuckers, all eyes on me. Yeah, <laughs> say, say. Yeah, man, I, I told myself I was gonna start doing some more TikTok videos. We actually got a TikTok page, Big Chief University, so y'all can come tap in with us up. <coughs> tap in with us over there. <coughs> Appreciate that love, T. Appreciate that love, T. Who is that? Who you is? The boyfriend? 
Told you, look at her. They go, a nigga right there. He had to let it be known. In. Yeah, that nigga there, he in the chat too. <laughs> yeah, T, y'all see T there. That's a nigga. Now, I ain't going to beat the ass. I'm in here too. I'm watching her. <laughs> and, 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 and we feel the argue because she ain't told me she had no motherfucking uh, Instagram or TikTok. She told me she ain't no social media type of Woman, yeah, hell no, nah. nigga, fuck you mean they to download it, your old MySpace and see your top five on the, yeah, 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 who the hell these niggas on your top five on your MySpace? Man, I'm going to get my hands about T, where you from, T? Where you from, T? Pharaoh, bro, you tripped out tonight, Pharaoh, bro. I and mean, he probably went and jumped on Twitch too and went live. But Pharaoh, you tripped out, bro. That wasn't cool, bro. What you did, bro. You got it. Man, man, man. You know, niggas be that should be man, that should be sounding good. It be looking easy. Niggas thinking they finna just go in there and get their shit off. And it don't work like that a lot of times, bro. Like <clears throat> Niggas, niggas fighting back. Y'all you watch yourself out here, man. T, you from New Orleans. Boy or girl? <laughs> Boy or girl? We were just out there in New Orleans, T. You got to uh, you gotta tap in with us. Uh, yeah, we were just out there in New Orleans. You got to tap in with us. We going to be in Galveston uh, soon. When it is, y'all. Next month. Next month we in Galveston. So yeah, we uh we love New Orleans. We got some New Orleans people down there. <laughs> I 
Hey, I seen uh, little mama right here. I seen so many pictures from Super Sunday of her. You know what I'm saying? And um, but it was it was another one. This was man, this young sister don't know uh, how powerful she looked it. I'm telling you, she looked like a little princess, man. Uh, but it's another one though. Uh, Ebenezer tried to take a picture with her, but she started crying. She was the the oh man, she was draped and dripped out, man. They had a right. It was her first year though, and uh, they were trying to get her to take a picture. She started crying or whatever, so we didn't get the picture. But this one right here was super powerful. But it was another young girl that was with them. And um, her daddy had gave her some uh some lifesaver candies. He was like taking them out the wrapper, and uh they was just coming up with different little shit to keep them warm or whatever. But this young sister was so powerful, man. I seen her on so many pictures. You know what I'm saying? Just from Super Sunday, just seeing different Super Sunday, and uh yeah, that 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 right there gonna live. I think that's gonna live in like New Orleans history. That's gonna be a bad motherfucker right there. <laughs> There she go right there. They go the other one right here. Look at look at the little one right here. Yeah. Ah, y'all see the Jolly Ranchers right there. They giving her some Jolly Ranchers. But yeah, man, I seen her. I just thought about my little girl. Yeah, she she. she right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was super dope to me right there. That was super dope right there. Yeah, T, you're going to have to come out next time. Shout out to Shrugs in the Super Chat. He say, all the ops in the room got 5K on Big Chief. Run it, run it till it. We're gonna go over there and step to him, man. And uh, I wish the nigga would get out there. Hey, you go, that's gonna be the easiest 5k you want, Shrugs. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I ain't think I was gonna knock him out, bro, I'll tell you, nah, don't do that, don't even do it. But that's gonna be the easiest 5k you want. I'm pity rolling. Shit. And I told them boys a knockout, they gotta pay double. So the nigga better have the insurance on another 5k nigga. Cause it might end early. That bitch might end early, man. In the real way, man. Appreciate y'all, man, for pulling up. Uh that's my time, man. I'm gonna get up out of here. It's getting late. Uh ain't no telling when I go live again, man. I keep y'all updated. Got some things I'm working on in the background. And I need to put the joint up for the lecture that's coming up. And, um, yeah, so I let y'all know. All right, that's my time. I'm gone.